that's also part of AI. And I will just show you some other things that AI has achieved till now. Uh, the biggest, I think the biggest of this decade is about uh, generative adversarial network. So, uh, so wait, I will show you what you can do with Gans. Uh, so, There was one API. This website, right? You all can ask your friends to join the meet. We will start by 10 or maybe 10, 10. I'm just trying to find that API, wait a minute. Ah, that is this one. Uh, so if you just log into this website it shows picture of image uh, yeah. picture of people that do not exist uh, this picture this person does not exist this picture is generated by style gan uh, which is just a part of artificial intelligence so you can just refresh this website and you will get different you will get different images of picture so you said this image of a girl, image of a girl this girl also does not exist so you can see how realistic this image is means you can't just uh, you can't dis Discriminate between this and a real person. It's not this, just one or two pictures. You can yeah, you can have thousand pictures. That's the best thing about it. And and it's not it's not like that the pictures are similar in any way. You have seen that the picture has or pictures are for male, female, pe uh, people from different race, from the, for different hairstyle, and this is like really cool stuff here. <laughs> So you can see that this is basically uh, this. This is the, diff, the uh, this is like recognizable that uh, this has been generated by machine learning. Cause you can see that uh, this is a uh, yeah, head of a old person while faces like of a faces of head. Uh, yes. Exactly. So there is there is a difference. Like, uh, but you can understand that uh, there are many of the pictures that are really means uh, they are really similar to what we see of today high high level cam. So this was this was about guns. Now coming on to reinforcement learning. Uh, so if I will just show you this. Wait here, boy. This was, huh? this was open a hide and seek all right uh, okay i want one of you to tell me if you can hear the sound of it hear the sound of the fellow scholars this is two minutes yes, yes, sir. Sir. Yes. all right all right that's good so i will just let this video play you just listen to it and try to understand there is no technical stuff here it's like a common english language you can just uh, hear and understand everything and by the time uh, just message any whatsapp groups to just join first ah you can message on the whatsapp group with Karo Jola Ifahe. In this project, OpenAI built a hide and seek game for their AI agents to play. While we look at the exact rules here, I will note that the goal of the project was to pit two AI teams against each other and hopefully see some interesting emergent behaviors. And boy, did they do some crazy stuff. The coolest part is that the two teams compete against each other 
And whenever one team discovers a new strategy, the other one has to adapt. Kind of like an arms race situation, and it also resembles generative adversarial networks a little. And the results are magnificent, amusing, weird. You'll see in a moment. These agents learn from previous experiences, and to the surprise of no one, for the first few million rounds, we start out with pandemonium. Everyone just running around aimlessly. Without proper strategy and semi-random movements, the seekers are favored and hence they win the majority of the games. Nothing to see here. Then, over time, the hiders learn to lock out the seekers by blocking the doors off with these boxes and started winning consistently. I think the coolest part about this is that the map was deliberately designed by the OpenAI scientists in a way that the hiders can only succeed through collaboration. They cannot win alone and hence they are forced to learn to work together, which they did quite well. But then something happened. Did you notice this pointy doorstep shaped object? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Well, probably, and not only that, but about 10 million rounds later, the AI also discovered that it can be pushed near a wall and be used as a ramp and ta-da, got him. The seeker started winning more again. So the ball is now back on the court of the hiders. Can you defend this? If so, how? Well, these resourceful little critters learned that since there is a little time at the start of the game when the seekers are frozen, apparently during this time they cannot see them, so why not just sneak out, steal the ramp and lock it away from them? Absolutely incredible. Look at those happy eyes as they are carrying that ramp. And you think it all ends here? No, 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 not even close. It gets weirder, much weirder. When playing a different map, the seeker has noticed that it can use a ramp to climb on the top of a box and this happens. Do you think couch surfing is cool? Give me a break. This is box surfing. And the scientists were quite surprised by this move as this was one of the first cases where the seeker AI seems to have broken the game. What happens here is that the physics system is coded in a way that they are able to move around by exerting force on themselves, but there is no additional check whether they are on the floor or not, because who in their right mind would think about that? As a result, something that shouldn't ever happen does happen here. And we are still not done yet. This paper just keeps on giving. A few hundred million rounds later, the hiders learned to separate all the rams from the boxes. Dear fellow scholars, this is proper box surfing defense. Then lock down the remaining tools and build a shelter. Note how well rehearsed and executed this strategy is. There is not a second of time left until the seekers take off. I also love this cheeky move where they set up the shelter right next to the seekers and I almost feel like they are saying, yeah, see this here? There is not a single thing you can do about it. In a few isolated cases, other interesting behaviors also emerge. For instance, the hiders learn to exploit the physics system and just chuck the ramp away. After that, the seekers go, what? What just happened? But don't despair. And at this point, I would also recommend that you hold on to your papers because there was also a crazy case where a seeker also learned to abuse a similar physics issue and launch itself exactly onto the top of the hiders. Man, what a paper. This system can be extended and modded for many other tasks too, so expect to see more of these fun experiments in the future. We get to do this for a living and we are even being paid for this. I can't believe it. In this series, my mission is to showcase beautiful works that light a fire in people. And this is, no doubt, one of those works. Great idea, interesting, unexpected results, crisp presentation. Bravo OpenAI, love it. So, did you enjoy this? What do you think? Make sure to leave a comment below. Also, if you look at the paper, it contains comparisons to an earlier work we covered about intrinsic motivation. All right, so I hope you all got that paper, what it actually did. Was that pretty, uh, was that pretty clear? Or do you want some help? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. 
So you basically think that what what uh, what you saw there was the building of a brain of a human brain means the agent thought of things that even you and you and me can't think of that like uh, you and me are human and we think of us as like uh, the top of the chain in in term of knowledge but how quickly uh, how quickly the agents adopted to it and how how beautifully they exploited they exploited the physics of the game was just unbelievable so these are the things you can do with ai and and uh, trust me these things are not very hard to do you just basically need uh, ai is not much of a coding or anything it's more of an art you can think ai as an art and 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 maths uh, there is not much of a coding involved uh, but i will show you many many different things like there is one like uh, open gpt2 uh, gpt2 maybe storytelling story writing there are tons of tons of uh, tons of beautiful application of ai and you can you can just you can just google him there there is this one gpt story writing and there is this one website where you can basically compete with an ai model that is p5 if you will just google with google compete with p5 all right so this one, this is like basically a game. Ah, no, this was not. Hold on a minute. Yeah. Yeah, you can play this game. Let's play it a bit, now. T5 trivia. Let's play this game. So basically, what we what we do is this in this paper we will uh, we will compete with T5, which is a Google model. And it also doesn't know answer of any of the question. It will just try to predict it. So which service was originally named as Queen's Nurse? I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, let's just submit it. So let's uh, see that both of us both of us uh, give the wrong answer. Now let's. Uh, the thing is that AI is not trained on this data set. Means it is like a closed book closed book thing for AI. Means just like we don't know any of the any of these question and answer. For example, how do you, how do you solve a question and answer? You read a passage and then you solve question and answer for it. But this is not the case here. AI also doesn't know any question uh, the passage from which this question is asked. So basically, we are at the same level. It all it only has the previous knowledges of the book it has read, and say, uh, similarly we have the we have the same knowledge also. So we, we will just try to compete with it. The umbrella is the work of French. M uh, French impressionist. Wait, just Google it. Okay. So you see that it can guess correct answer. So this was like second thing you can see that uh, T5, T5 trivia dot place dot me. You can just play with it and see who wins. So you see that AI can get and T5 was not trained on this for question. T5 was not trained for question answering. What basically was T5 trained was on uh, the data set of Wikipedia, where it had where it was trained with all the data. You will read about how the training was done and everything. Probably in this course, if you continue till the end of this course, then we will be maybe discussing about this use models. But uh, let's first start with Python. And obviously Python is like uh, you don't want to see more cool applications, right? Or you want to see some more. Cool applications of AI? Yes, sir. Sure. You want to see more cool applications? Okay, we will, uh, we will try to do it. Let's actually ask me when the session end or when we start with the Python, sir. We will do it in end of the class. Uh, let's try. Let Let's try to learn things so that we can build model like this on our own. And trust me, this is not difficult. Like uh, everyone, every every of us who are sitting here, key Kevin members, I am Pratyaksh. Then I have Imanshu. Utkars and Path. Uh, we have probably made a model that like uh, does few things. For example, uh, two or three days ago, I was just uh, making a model on on fa facial detection. Like it can it can see your face and predict uh, what uh, predict like uh, which which uh, which expressions you are showing, anger, disgust, or anything. So um, trust me, these are not like we are what like one year older than you, and uh, we can make this model. We can make this model, and I think that you can do it too. So just keep on hanging and. Trust me, coding of AI is not very difficult. Within one or two months, you will be making a model of our own. Okay, so let's just let's first begin with Python, the basic thing. So I have I have not made this notebook. As you can see, this tutorial was originally written by Justin Johnson, and it was adopted in Jupyter Notebook by Waldemir Kulesha and Isaac Caswell. 
So I've just Googled this notebook. It is for Python and you can also get it. I've, I have shared the link also. So I will just, uh, this is Google Colab. Mm, this is Google Colab. This is, a, you can think of it as Python interpreter on the cloud. So you don't have to use your computers, uh, computers, computation resources. Like if you have a very bad computer, with, which is like 4 GB or 2 GB, any RAM, it, uh, it doesn't have anything to do with it. You, uh, you get a RAM by Google. You can see that there is a, you get a 12 GB, 13 GB RAM by Google. And also you get something for runtime, which is uh, a GPU. GPU is like for fast processing. We will discuss it in deep learning. It for deep learning. You don't need it for here. Yeah. So let me uh, just show you around in this Google Colab first. Okay, so this is uh, this is where you can copy something to your drive. So I will copy a drive, and once I've copied this to my drive, I can make changes to it. So let I have made. Huh? Okay. So let me show you around the Google Colab first. You can you can do what there is one Jupyter notebook also which you can download on your on your on your system and then you can use it. But I don't really see the need of doing it. If you don't have GPU, which cost around three to four lakhs, so if you are not ready to spend that type, that type of money, you should probably use this. Everyone, everyone here around uses this, so it is quite good. So let's continue with it. This is where you can name all your files and all. Uh, if I I want to, I can change the name of this. Really? Okay, let's just type it AI one. All right. So there are two types of cell in Google Colab. I can connect it to runtime. The, this is basically when you connect it to it is connected to the back end of the Google. So now when you run anything, it will be run in the back end of the Google. So no computation power of uh, your computer will be used. So okay, I will show you around. What basically if if I will if I just show you about how the normal like normal comma. Okay, it will open VS Code. Let's show. So, what basically I, uh, here, if I say show you file, you can have much more file here and everything. If you want to just open Colab, you can Google here. Colab. Uh, this colab.research.google.com. This is the place. Uh, this is like the website for this Colab. My VS Code is open. So, you will see that I have many files and folders here. So, yeah, similarly, you can have many files and folders. I can save it on Google Drive. I can download from Google GitHub. I can upload my new files here. And once you open a file, let's just start a new. If you want to start a new notebook, here, yeah, just start a new notebook from here. Okay, so I have my new notebook started. Okay, if you see, like, if I just show you how things go, if I try to use a Python compiler, just like if I make a file, let's say num.py. And all right, I can connect it to runtime here. Okay, so this is num.py. Num if I want to run some code, I can obviously print uh, just like I want to print hello world. This is the first program which everyone run, learn. So if I print hello world, it will print it in terminal, run the program, your hello world is printed here. So if I want to run some script down here, I have to again write, again write it. Again, and then I will have to run it again. And when I run it again, what will happen is it it runs from the top. It first runs this line, and then it goes and runs this line. So you have hello world and hello world again. But when you will be dealing with AI or ML, you will have like uh, 1,000 line of code or something like that. So you don't want to run all the part, all the pieces of your code again and again. So this is where like Google Colab or something like IPython comes very handy. I will just show you what it basically has, what it basically has here. So I have a cell block. So this cell block is independent of each other. Like this is like uh, what I have done. Hello. Okay. If I just uh, for to run this cell, you can simply uh, say yeah, run, or you can just uh, press Control plus Enter. Okay. Now this uh, this cell is run, uh, this cell has run. Or oh, and similarly, what I can do is I can create one more code cell, and this code cell is like it does have, uh, it. Uh, it does not necessarily you don't need to necessarily run this to run this cell. like they are independent of them but they share but they share variable between each other so this is like that uh, if i divide this into this uh, two pieces of code uh, like i want to run this only or i want to run this part of only, only. so this is what basically google colab does for us i have, i can run any piece of code together so if i
so you see that it's that i have to i have to run only hello world if i run this cell only the only the commands that are in this cell block is executed and uh, nothing from this cell block has been executed so this is for the code cell next you will see here is a text cell if you want to write something about it or if you want to like describe describe anything you write to you want to write some definition or you want to write some some any other thing so you can just write here this uh, this is not like a code cell so it won't run you will just see it here like basically this is and one more thing is that this supports markdown a markdown like uh, github people would have taught you about markdown you can use hash for h1 hello so this uh, the, this support it's markdown you have a bigger hello so this was all about google collab i think we are done here all the files that uh, google also provide you disk uh, you can see that disk is of 107.72 gb disk so all the files and folder that you will have uh, will be visible and second thing you can do is you can search snippet here no so this is for variable you can search code snippet here if i want to want to uh, camera capture so you can just copy paste the snippet or it was yeah yeah so you have a pre-written script by someone else that you can just copy and paste here and you can run it so this is also a cool feature of uh, snippet pratik priyavas lag kar rahi thodi juniors bol rahe hain रहीटेशन so you don't need to buy expensive expensive devices if you want to learn ml you can just do it here which this is basically free of cost this was the first okay, takeaway from this uh, from ha huh? sir can you go slow okay you want me to go slow okay sorry so the first takeaway is uh, that this is provided by google so you don't need to use your own money to uh, you to buy computation resources so you can just come here and do your coding and this is very much beneficial in ml Because you are next, next you will see that we will need fast computation as we as we expand through these courses. So and the second thing, this was like so. I would recommend you to use Google Colab. And the next the next thing is that the next thing we discussed is about the cells. These cells share their variable. For example, if I declare some variable here, uh, we will discuss about declaring variable. So basically, this shall declare variable. But if you want to just run a part of code. then you can write it in a different code cell and then you can execute it and the third part we discussed was that you can add some text to have more information about your code so i think are we clear about these three parts about collab i can see your chat no sir uh, please again repeat what do you want me to repeat sir? the last part the collab ah uh, the last the last part the text cell of collab yes sir Okay. Ah, uh, the text sir, cell is basically are, if you. Sir, you are a bit too fast. Uh, I'm a bit too fast. थोड़ा आराम से करने देते हैं कि आपको लैब का इंट्रोडक्शन वापस दे दे. अच्छा स्टार्टिंग से. बस ये बस शेयर करके बताते हैं. एक वेस्ट से कंफर्टेबल होना सर. क्या? एक कोई ऐसा तो नहीं बोल रहा. नहीं वो बोला था ठीक है मैं एक बार इसको हिंदी में रिपीट करता हूँ. आ जो इंग्लिश में सुना था वो सुन ही लिया होगा मैं इसको एक बार हिंदी में रिपीट करता हूँ तो हिंदी में तेज बोल सकता हूँ ना स्पीड में कोई दिक्कत नहीं किसी को चल ठीक है मैं बोलता हूँ देखा तो देखो कोलैब क्या है कोलैब हाँ कोलैब बेसिकली गूगल तुमको हाँ बोल sir some students are from south they are saying that they are not able to understand okay i i'm just repeating uh, all the things that i have said previously i'm just repeating it hindi you got what i have said previously yes sir yes sir okay i'm just repeating all those things in hindi all right is that cool with you yes sir yes sir yes sir okay theek okay. hai तो देखा क्या है बेसिकली ये जो गूगल को लैब है वो तुमको गूगल देता है ताकि तुम मशीन लर्निंग कर सको क्योंकि मशीन लर्निंग में जो कंप्यूटेशन पावर होती है कंप्यूटेशन पावर पता ना जैसा तुमको सिस्टम को रन करने के लिए रैम बड़ा अच्छी होता है ठीक है जैसा अगर तुम अच्छे वीडियो गेम्स खेलना चाहते हो तो तुमको रैम अच्छी होता है उसी तरीके से मशीन लर्निंग में मॉडल को ट्रेन करने के लिए तुमको रैम हाँ को म्यूट करता हाँ वो चैट में टाइप कर अरे 
भाई अगर मैं ये तुम लोग को दे रहा हूँ कि अरे नहीं म्यूट मत कर रहे जो है वो कर लो म्यूट मत कर ऐसे बीच में बोल लेंगे तो पता होगा हाँ सेम यार आई आल्सो वॉच ऑन डॉ आई वॉच आई वॉच फ्रॉम बिटवीन टू एक्स टू फोर एक्स सो आई थिंक आई एम गोइंग बिट टू फास्ट और राइट हाँ सर ठीक है तो देखा तो गूगल को लैब गूगल देता ताकि तुमको अपना खुद का पैसा ना बर्बाद करना पड़े रैम वैम खरीदने में अगर तुम यहाँ पे देखोगे तो जो रैम की साइज़ है वो तुम्हारी ट्वेल्व है और जो डिस्क की साइज़ है वो तुम्हारी वन है तो डिस्क तो तुम्हारे पास इतना होगा लेकिन जो रैम है वो काफ़ी ज़्यादा है इससे हमें साफ्ट फायदा मिलता है क्योंकि तो ज्यादा डेटा को रैम में स्टोर कर सकते हैं तो इसलिए मैं रेकमेंड करूंगा कि तुम गूगल को लैब को यूज करो क्योंकि अगर तुम इतने इतने ज्यादा तुम्हारे पास रैम होगा नहीं तो तुम अगर इस हिसाब से ट्रेन करोगे तो या तो तुम्हारा मॉडल बहुत धीरे ट्रेन होगा या तो फिर जो तुम्हारे सिस्टम है वो क्रैश हो जाएगा तो इसलिए मेरा पहला पॉइंट ये था कि गूगल को लैब को यूज करना है अगर तुम एम कर रहे हो और दूसरा मैं बोल रहा था कि जैसे तुम नॉर्मली कैसे तुम्हारा फाइल कैसे रन होता है तुम एक कोड को लिखते हो और उस कोड को उस फाइल को लिखते हो और उस पर कोड को एग्जीक्यूट करते हो तो वो जब तुम्हारा पूरा फाइल में जितना कोड लिखा है वो सब के सब एक साथ एग्जीक्यूट हो जाता है लेकिन जो भी आई पाइथन नोटबुक जो भी नोटबुक होता है उसमें ऐसा कुछ नहीं होता है उसमें इसमें क्या होता है कि तुम चाहो तो तुम सिर्फ एक पार्ट ऑफ कोड है ना तुम उसको भी एग्जीक्यूट करा सकते हो जैसे मैं एक पहली बार में मैं सिर्फ हेलो को प्रिंट हेलो एग्जीक्यूट कराया और अगर मैं यहाँ पे देखो तो मैं फिर प्रिंट हेलो वर्ड को एग्जीक्यूट करा ठीक है तो मैं एक एक पार्ट ऑफ कोड को भी एग्जीक्यूट करा सकता हूँ तो इन्हीं को हम सेल ब्लॉक बोलते हैं सेल ब्लॉक में बेसिकली तुम अपना कोड राइट करते हो और आप कंट्रोल प्लस इंटर दबा के उसको रन कर सकते हो नेक्स्ट है तुम्हारा टेक्स्ट ब्लॉक टेक्स्ट ब्लॉक में अगर तुम्हें मतलब अपने कोड के बारे में कोई अधिक इन्फॉर्मेशन देना है या तुमको कुछ भी डिस्क्रिप्शन विस्क्रिप्शन लिखना है तो तुम इसमें लिख सकते हो भाई तो तुम इसको डबल क्लिक किए और उसके बाद तुम यहाँ पे लिख दिए और ये जो तुम जैसे मैं कुछ भी कहूँ दिस इज फर्स्ट क्लास ऑफ ए ठीक है एम नॉट टाइपिंग दैट में तो ये ठीक है तो तुम इसमें कुछ भी लिख सकते हो और सेकंड चीज में ये बोल रहा था कि ये जो तो तुम्हारा टेक्स है वो मार्कडाउन सपोर्ट करता है तो तुम अगर इसको चाहो सुंदर बनाना चाहते हो तुम कर सकते हो ठीक है ये काफी चीजें सपोर्ट करता है तुम इसमें बोल्ड वोल्ड भी काम ही करता है इसमें बोल्ड भी काम करता है वो एस टी में पढ़ा होगा बोल्ड के लिए स्लैश बी यूज करते हैं तो ठीक है वो छोड़ दो अभी तुम्हें कोडिंग के बारे में सीखना तो ये तुम नहीं जानते रहोगे हाँ ये बाद में सीख जाओगे तो एक ये इसको मार्कडाउन बोलते हैं और इसको सेल बोलते हैं तो ये तुम्हारा कोलैब कंप्लीट हो गया और दूसरा चीज मैं ये बता रहा था कि तुम जितने भी फाइल स्टोर करोगे तुमको यहाँ पे अपलोड करने हो तो जितने भी तुम्हारे फाइल अभी है वो तुम्हारे तुमको यहाँ पे दिखेंगे जैसा तुम्हारा ये जो होता है ना कंप्यूटर का जो तुम्हारा फाइल मैनेजर है वो समझ जाए कि वो तुम्हारे इस सेशन का या फाइल मैनेजर है ठीक है नेक्स्ट थिंग तुम यहाँ पे कोड स्निपेट्स देख सकते हो जो कि मतलब कुछ लोगों ने खुद पे खुद लिखा ताकि तुम्हारा काम जो है वो आसान हो जाए तो इसका कभी यूज नहीं करते हैं लेकिन ये सही है और एक चीज ध्यान रखना कि अगर तुम्हारा ये जो सेशन है अगर तुम बहुत टाइम तक इसको छोड़ दोगे या तुम ऑफलाइन जाओगे तो ये सेशन एंड हो जाता है तो जैसे ये ना वो सब गायब तो फाइल का बैकअप बना के रखना तो ये फाइल को डाउनलोड कर लेना या फिर गूगल ड्राइव पर अपलोड कर लेना ठीक है इतना हो गया अब पाइथन को कंटिन्यू करते हैं ओके कमिंग बैक टू इंग्लिश एंड आई विल ट्राई टू गो स्लो दिस टाइम ठीक है सो टॉकिंग अबाउट पाइथन पाइथन इज ओके लेट्स डू फ्यू थिंग्स है ना हाँ जस्ट टू मेक इट लुक गुड एंड नाउ इट हैज बीन so this was basically the part where they have <laughs> they have said that this tutorial was originally written by Justin Johnson and then it was modified or something by Vladimir Kushilov and Isaac Kasman okay so this was nothing for us now let's start with introduction i wrote my name just for fun now uh, you also call you also copy and write your name if you want to just to have that proof that yes i have done something so that's kind of a cool let's uh, proceed to next thing let's uh, talk about python so python is a great general purpose programming language on its own but with help of few popular libraries becomes a very becomes a powerful environment for scientific computing we expect that many of you have experience in python okay you don't uh let to sit down okay ha huh. just let's just start from here basics of python python is a high level dynamic type multiple paradigm programming language okay let's try to understand the meaning of this first is this is high high level 
high level you know high level programming languages you got low level programming languages which are c and all and where in what you have to do in low level programming languages that you have to uh, you have to do everything on your own you have to manage the memories and all everything on your own so you have to write every piece of code for the simpler simplest of things you will have to write a piece of code so you don't have to do this in python because most of the things that are commonly used has been implemented in the python language itself and the second thing is dynamically typed dynamically typed means that you can change the data type of your variable which you can't do in uh, if i guess uh, are you all familiar with c or c++ Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so in yes, in C or C plus uh, plus, in C or C plus plus, you can't change the data type of variable. You know, na. For example, in in the starting, if you declare that int a, I, if you declare int a, then a will hold only the integer only. You understand that, right? Yes, sir. Ah, uh, you know that, right? Now, if I if I want to, if, for example, if I just write this piece of code in my C plus plus language, int a equal to four. And then I do a equal to hello. Uh, do you think this will give error? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Compilation error. Uh, a compilation error because you have declared a as an integer, and then you are storing a string in it. So you can't do that, right? So yes. this is where Python. Python is not like that. If you are, if you declare a variable, you can change the data type of variable in the time of execution. so you can start you can start with a integer and then at the at some point point of code you can just convert it you can just replace the integer at as a string for example let's say if i do a equal to 4 so now basically a is an integer right now let me change a to hello okay let's just print a here i think you all have guessed what print statement does here right then i will just uh, change the value of a to hello and then i will do print a so you see that uh, in the initially the value of a was 4 which was an integer and after that i changed the value of a to hello which was an string and uh, then you can see that a was a was flexible enough to like uh, to adopt to this it was flexible enough to understand so what python does is it basically guesses the data set uh, guesses the data by itself only uh, guesses the data type of the Uh, of the variable of the variable by itself only and the second thing is python code is often said to be almost like pseudo code since it always expresses very powerful ideas and very few lines of code while being very readable so you know that like in c or c++ you have to write lots of code to do something and but, but this 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 is not in the case of the python this is not the case of python in python you just have to write few lines of code and those few lines are also like uh, you can read the code and you can understand what it wants to do Uh, as we pro as we proceed through the course you will see that it is like very intuitive type of type of language it means that if you feel like okay uh, uh, if i want to run a for loop so what i have to do is for a in this so this kind of thing is that you can like read python which which is not in other languages so this is the this is like very good beginner language if you want to learn if the, learn the first language i think python have python could be a very good idea because it is super easy so you can uh, learn python very easily and okay so let's just see here uh, for example this is the implementation of quick sort algorithm i don't i don't expect you to know anything about this so don't don't even try to do anything about but uh, just i want to prove a point here all right so this is the this is the code for quick sort algorithm now i will just show you the code for quick sort algorithm in c right in c uh, you all are doing c++ no? let's try c++ also Okay, so you all are doing C plus plus in your C C class. So let me just show you how big the code of quick sort is actually. Uh, so this is where this is code for partition. So this is what uh, this is like the whole code for your quick sort algorithm. From here, uh, from this time, from this uh, from this part, you complete it to this part. This is also like pseudo code. Where is the real code? Uh, this is like this is for your quick sort algorithm. This is code for a quick sort algorithm. Uh, from here to this thing. Come on, go. Okay, so from here to the uh, to that part. This is like the code of a quick sort algorithm, and you can see that uh, it is big. While you can do just in Python in like I don't know what. Uh, this is like four four or five lines of code. 
and it also works you can confirm that it is sorting so now you you understand my point that you can uh, you can achieve achieve big things in like like small pieces of code in python so i don't expect you to understand this or understand this function let's just continue and try to now learn python so this was like this was just the proof that how super cool python is so okay uh, now coming coming back to python uh, so first uh, first thing i would be talking about is declaration of variable all right uh, if everything is clear till now i don't think I, i have really taught anything till now but is everything clear i just uh, in this yes, part sir. like i just want to talk about uh, how cool python is so this is clear with everyone right yes sir yes sir all right uh, now coming back to coming on to declaration of variable if you talk about declaration of variable so in in low level programming languages like c or c++ uh, what you have to do while declaring a variable is first you have to specify the type of the data type of the variable you want but this is not the case of python if you want to declare a variable in python uh, for example just there are this uh, just there is a one step to declare it you just write the name of the variable and this and then you just give it a value uh, your variable very uh, your variable declaration is uh, is successful and you know you know what variable is right you all know variable is uh, what variable is right yes sir yes sir all right so uh, so this is where like your variable name uh, declaration of variable name is successful and as i have uh, already told you that uh, you, the this this whole dynamically type so if you want to change the data type of variable Uh, if you if you want to change the data type of variable in in between your code you can do it yeah uh, just let me print it when new and after that i i will just say i uh, say as i already told you that these code pieces are independent when they run but the variables uh, the variables are like stored for example the code cell which you will run first will store the variable uh, will have a variable with this name so the variable is not lost you just run a piece of code here so like you can share the variable between your code cells do you understand what i want, want to say right yes sir all right cool uh, the thing i told you is that you are, this is dynamically typed so you can change your variable name to hello you yeah. so your variable just went from this to string now if you will you are, if you will print your your name you will see that it is a so this is because python is dynamically typed so you can change the variable variable name in uh, even the data type of a variable between your execution uh, so probably some of you smart people would have been thinking that maybe uh, maybe this uh, python variable is storing everything as a uh, everything as a string only maybe this for is a string only and then when you change it with to hello what happens was initially is was the var name was a string only and it was just storing for as a string and then when you uh, when you change it to hello uh, you actually didn't change the variable uh, you just uh, you just change the value of it but this is not true for example if i just show you there is a uh, there is a function in python which is type which shows the data type of a variable so if i will just uh, go on uh, for example let me declare a variable i will go with var uh, i can i can have use var here okay so var 4 and then i will just print var um uh, type type is what basically tells you the type of uh, the data type of the variable all right uh, let me just copy paste it here and here we go okay so you see uh, and everything in python is a class uh, is an uh, everything in python is class so basically you don't have to you have to don't have to concern yourself with just you can see that four was initially an integer and then in the between the executor it changes it changes itself to hello so here in python the best thing i can uh, the best way to understand here in python is you do, is you don't have to don't have to limit yourself to a particular variable type you can store any kind of data in any variable so i think this is this is clear to all of you declaration of variable in python those people who know any other programming languages i will suggest you to make some analogy between the programming language you know and the programming language that we are learning that is python and i think you would find it very much very much uh, similar to javascript in javascript also uh, that that variable uh, your, the variable is dynamically typed so you can do let and then you can change it but that's not the course webdig i have 
taught you already about that. So are we clear here? Declaration of variable part. Wow. Yes, sir. Okay, so declaration of uh, anyone and has any problem declaration of variable you can write in the chat if you don't want to speak part you can please check and tell me if anyone has any problem okay i will continue now if if the say see the thing is that the variable are dynamically typed that doesn't mean that python doesn't have data type means uh, python is integer string these are the data types only so we will now be learning about data types in python so the first one is number number is what numbers are like integer and floats are considered as number so yeah you can see that x is equal to three and if when i see the type of x is equal to three and what you can do with integer are the basic operation that you can do uh, this is for addition x plus one so oh, all right okay now uh, i want all of you to be writing in chat what do you think will be the will be the answer of these questions x plus one if you all can write in the chat x is equal to three i've declared x is three so x plus one is for addition x minus one is for subtraction x into two is for multiplication and x into 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 is for exponential exponential means x raised to the power two this is this is uh this is equivalent to this x raised to the power two so if if i want to uh so uh, to find this x raised to the power b in python i will just have to write the code x into into b well with this so these are the basic math operation that you can do in python and okay let me just show you one more thing uh, okay okay uh, then this will be something for fun for us all right. okay so as expected x is equal to four x is two here three into two six three raised to the power two nine all right uh, let's talk about division cool guys huh, uh, okay can anyone tell me what will be the value of this x divided by two Okay, I have to check me. I think 1.5. I got one. I got one. 1.5. 1. 1. 1.5. 1. 1. Ah, that's cool. Uh, you both can be right. I'm sure that uh, some of you. Okay. Okay. You can stop writing. So some of you might have might be thinking. Okay. So we have two option. I have one option as one, and I have another option as 1.5. Uh, let's see. Let's see who wins. All right. So the people who have probably answered one are thinking that since. Uh, yeah, and as in C plus plus, what a divide does is it does it does uh, for integers. What divide does is it does that integer uh, integer division. So it doesn't give return the float value. But let, let's just run this. Okay, so this is one point five, and this is because uh, as I've already told you that the data type we are learning about is number. There is nothing called integer or there is nothing we are not learning about integer or we are learning about number so here division means actual division because this number can hold or you can just think that python is dynamically typed so basically uh, you will you will for example the you can change the you can change the data type of x so for example if it was int earlier you can change change it to float okay no, not many fuss about just remember that if you divide by two it does actual division here and if you are, so what if i want to do integer division which is like uh, which is sometimes important in most of the cases so for integer division it is okay let me just write it here only so this is for uh, oh and uh, in c++ you uh, double brackets for for comments here we use hash symbol for comment this is for division all right uh, now okay this this is special this double double slash in python is used for integer division and i wanted to remember this was because integer division is qu is quite important in some places so it's good to remember so if i divide three by integer division by two you will get one year as answer so yeah i can just copy paste it here and i can say that double slash two is used for so that float division Hmm? I can't hear you, mate. Can you write in the chat? I can't hear you actually. Okay, okay, let him write in the chat. We will continue with one more thing. Uh, there is one more operation left, I think, that is modulus, uh, which is for remainder. And I don't think yeah, you all are smart. It would be one as answer. So this was basically. Uh, uh, this is three. Uh, the remainder when three gets divided by two. 
So you all have learned about it. So let's just also keep it here. This is for this is for modular. All right. So these things we are cool with these things. Uh, the operations that we have with number data type. Uh, you got uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, exponentiation, division, integer division, and then you got modulus division. Modulus division is for remainder. All right, uh, let's continue with our, and this is for uh, uh, one more thing, uh, one more thing, which you are going to do a lots of mistakes, it's X plus plus doesn't work here. So if I just write X plus plus, uh, it would return an error, uh, which is X plus plus is like increment operator in, in C plus plus, uh, but this doesn't work here. Well, here, if you want to increase or decrease something, you will have to write x plus equal to one. This basically means, uh, uh, sorry, this basically means x equal to x plus one. And similarly, this means, okay, any guesses, what will this mean? If this means x equal to x plus one, what will this mean? Is it for floor division? Yes, it is for floor division. Uh, sorry. And X equal to X into two. Yes, correct. X equal to X into two. This will means X equal to X uh, into two. Okay. Uh, similarly, you can do uh, you uh, you know you can do all the operations like this. I will not. I am not going to uh, do everything. Uh, so, okay. Now here we also in our numbers we have so this is like uh, the value that we expected. Here in numbers where we can also have, for example, the other previously we have class type integer. Here we can also have class type as float also. So you know that class type integer and float both are covered in both are covered in number only. So the operations that are uh, that are used here can also be used for floats also. So I want in Python, I want you to treat float and integers as uh, float and integers similarly only. All right, cool with that. So till now, what we have learned, we have learned about number, we have learned about mathematical operations you can do. Uh, the key takeaway from here is, uh, which is different from other programming languages, uh, double star is used for exponentiation. Division will give you the actual division, which is like uh, division will give you the actual division and then double slash is used for floor division or integer division, whatever you want to call it. So these were the key takeaway points from here. Any doubts, anyone? And you can't do x plus plus, uh, you will have to do here x equal to x plus one or x plus equal to one. Any any doubt, anyone? Am I being clear? Any doubt, anyone? If you can write. No? All right, cool with it. Participants to yeah. Oh, 159. All right, that's good. Okay, I will continue. Uh sub summage may I bit up? कुछ खास तो नहीं पड़ा है सब समझ में आ रहा है वेरिएबल्स के बारे में बात कर हां बढ़िया 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 ठीक कंटिन्यू करते हैं ओके नेक्स्ट कमिंग टू बूलियन डेटा टाइप सो दिस इज बेसिकली बूलियन इज व्हाट ट्रू और फॉल्स वैल्यूज सो वी विल टॉक अबाउट ट्रू और फॉल्स वैल्यूज ओके ओके डोंट डोंट सी दिस नाउ ऑलराइट डोंट सी दिस आई विल टॉक अबाउट दिस लेटर डोंट सी दिस प्लीज ओके लेट मी जस्ट डिलीट इट So Boolean can have two value. I've already told you that you don't need to specify the data type Python, uh, data type Python can get it itself. So the first thing is you will have to, if you can't write three, uh, small t, it won't take small t as true. Uh, you have to start your Boolean operator with capital one. So, so your true will be T-R-U-E with capital T and your false will be with capital false. capital false. So T is equal to true, T equal to false. And if I just run this cell, you will see that the data type of T is actually Boolean. Let's see. Okay, any guesses what it will return? If I just type T, I want to print T also. Now, okay, I will give you two options. Uh, what will it return? First, uh, what will it print? All right, I'm giving you two options. Will it print zero? Uh, sorry, will it print one? Or will it print true? What will it print? One or true? Okay, one, one, true, one, true. All right, cool, cool, cool. I got people from C++ also. Okay, so let's just run it and check here only. All right. Yeah, so this is true. Uh, so yeah, this doesn't work here in, uh, in Python. Python is like, uh, like if you want to leave all your doubts, like if you just want to use your common sense, like how things will happen, uh, how things will happen, it, it, won't, it won't behave like unexpectedly. It won't behave unexpectedly. It will, but uh, till now, just say that it will not behave unexpectedly. If you want to print T, it will only print true only. All right, cool, cool with it. Huh. 
now now coming to huh coming to these operators uh you know this is you know what this is now this basically fixed double equal to fixed equality and this is i think constant in all of the programming language except javascript javascript use triple triple equal to but leave it so this double equal to fix uh, double equal to fix if they are equal or not so true is not equal never equal to false so this will return false and then you know and operator oh, all right now ha huh, let's go on true and false what will be the value of true and false true and false is false come on don't write true true and false is false after true or false what will be the value of or true or false true or false is true good 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 and then what will be the not t not true what will be not true not true will yes. be false good 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 uh, don't uh, don't speak all right if they are writing in chat and uh, the last one t is not equal to false what will this return t is not equal to f true 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 good 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 okay so now we can just run it and you better false true false true false true false true false all right now coming on to strings uh, so in python in python what you can do is mm -hmm. you can you can uh, you can declare a string in any ways you can use single quotes also to declare a string and you can use double quotes also to declare a string which is not this uh, this this liberty is not given to you in c++ and c++ uh, single quotes is used to declare characters but not here in python you can use you can use single quotes to declare here and declare single quotes and double quotes both to declare a string and this len function len function is used to return the length this len all uh, just remember len as it returns the length whatever you type here hello it will return the length of the iterable you know what iterable means iterables do you know what iterable means no no it's uh, it's not iterable iterable means uh, repeat no iterable means something that you can iterate over something you can iterate over matlab something you can loop over loop over means like uh, for hello you can go you can uh, just go on h then e then l then l and over similarly in array you can you can go over all the elements so iterable uh, iterables are like string list these are these are the things the string list everything that can be iterated over is called as iterable ha huh? na no, change change changeable is for mutable okay let, let, let's don't get, don't get carried away in these uh, technical terms uh, let's continue our lecture so whatever you type in len it will basically return the length of it okay uh, this len function is quite good so whatever you type here it will return the length of that thing so i have declared hello i have declared word and then let's continue so you can see that uh, first i print hello and then i have used word uh, i didn't use word or that word no problem okay now uh, let's go with my conventional var name and i will just do hello how is what var all right which of the which of them will show error okay i got one answer that none will show error okay last two will show error last two three four three four last two and then uh, third one all right all right all right i got people saying then so let's run okay so i got error in var number 3 okay one more thing that you will love about python is no that uh, 
the whole the whatever error you will face na it's it's completely uh, it's completely discredited level means you can see all the errors that are going on so you can understand that where error is coming for, from like in other programming language what uh, what happens is in c++ you get an error for segmentation fault or the just your code crashes but this is not the case in python you will get like this is not like very disc uh, descriptable error but in in other programming language means in other errors you will face you will see that uh, there will be good description provided with the error so all right uh, so the, there is this error in var number 3 okay so what i just wanted to show you is that if you declare your variable with single string uh, with single quotes then you can use double quotes inside it and if you declare your variable with double quotes then you can use single quotes inside it and if you uh, uh, the next thing is you can't use single quotes and single quotes together and you can't use double double quotes together and this makes perfect sense for example uh this this single quotes doesn't know where it ends this single quote doesn't know that if it ends in here or it ends here or it ends here this double quote doesn't know if it ends here or it ends here or it ends here, or, it ends here, or it ends here so i will just comment it out and yeah wow so this this two are perfectly okay so there is no problem with them you can use a double quotes inside single quotes Excuse me, you sir. can use a double quote huh so please repeat again uh, why that was wrong no uh, that was wrong because python is written like that basically is that na uh, if you use double quotes inside double quotes the whole uh, your string ends here all right if you use double quotes inside double quotes so this is the starting double quotes and this is the ending double quotes okay this one is the starting this one is the ending and then maybe maybe oh, okay let's just replace it with double quotes here okay uh, for example let's just write anything here na hi okay now so this is your first string because the single quotes uh, double quotes started from here and then it ended here so this is like a complete thing if i if i if i start traversing from here to here so this is one string for me and this is another string for me okay now what is god because god is not uh, god is not a string because god god is not under uh, under any same so god can be either an operation or god can be either an variable and god is neither so basically it is uh, it is not that python shows an syntax error here so um, means i just wanted to remember one thing that you can use single quotes if you are declaring uh, you can use double quotes inside single quotes and you can use single sir quotes. but god is uh, sorry, your string but god is your string nah, you can nah. say that na okay na 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 i uh, see i'm just saying okay Uh, let's just give them space okay so here you go so your first double quote starts from here so this double quote says that okay this double quote says that okay the string begins from here uh, this double quote says the string begins from here so i start traversing inside it and now when i go to it uh, now when i go to it i can say that uh, i encountered one more double quote so i can say that the string has ended now if the string has ended here So if a string is ended here, but it will read all the operations that you have provided here. So what is God? If the string ended here only, then God doesn't make sense. God is not any operations that it can perform. If I simply in place of God, if I write plus, so plus means that basically you, I want to con concat these both string, and I just type word name two. Uh, so you can write hello, how is hi. so hello how is and then it hi jo the plus operation it concatenated the string so this is why you get it and i really don't uh, I, do, i really don't have explanation for that why single quotes inside double quotes work and double quotes inside single quotes work because this is how the programming language is written and i just wanted you to know it because uh, for example you don't uh, you can use for uh, you can use uh, just like if you if i want to ram uh, you, you know you use apostrophe s a lot right so uh, if you want to use anything in For example, Rams. So mean that single quote under single quote in a Python is also wrong. Ah, uh, single quote under single quote is wrong. I, I showed you all the operations, na? Huh? The okay, variable okay. four was for single quote inside single quote. Okay. Take okay. care. Uh, now, as I already told you that we can do string concatenation here. We can do string concatenation with plus plus operation. Now, for example, just like uh, you you add integer, so there is an integer for in string concatenation. What happens is Uh, the string gets concatenated one after another so you got hello here hello and after that there will be it will be added to a space and then so plus can be uh, used for string concatenation 
and plus can be used for string concatenation this is cool and after that you can also do multiplication with string here python is cool uh, you can do multiplication with string if you want to repeat hello five times you can just multiply it you can just multiply it five with five this is kind of a concatenation also you can see that hello has been repeated five times okay hello hello hello, hello has been repeated five times and hello is a variable hello is a variable don't think that i'm just writing a string with no i'm just adding a string with no no you have to declare if, if i want some other string so i will have to just put it in single quotes or double quotes and i can then give space maybe and then this will all work all right so you can you have learned about string concatenation and this you can you can call it a string multiplication or something whatever you want so you can use plus and multiply operation with string and this is like consistent in other programming languages also uh, command to diya nahi to ye print kaise hua hello ha ha wo wo ye jupyter notebook mein ye hota hai na ki agar tum agar last statement kuch dete ho theek hai to wo print kar deta hai agar agar jo last expression ka jo output aata hai na wo print kar deta hai jo ye python mein tumhare sath nahi hoga ye jupyter notebook mein bas hota hai to agar main bas agar mere ko koi ek variable print karna hai na to main ek print statement jo hai na wo skip kar sakta hu jupyter notebook mein to jo tumhara to basically jo karta hai ki jo last hota hai na usko print kar deta hai apne aap agar wo jo last wala wo printable hua to theek hai ye ye matlab ye python language ka nahi ye tumhara jupyter notebook mein hota hai तो ये देख लेना मतलब इसका जो आउटपुट रहता है वो इसको प्रिंट कर देता है जो तुम्हारा लास्ट है ये तुम्हारा मतलब बस इसी तरीके से नहीं रहता अगर मैं कोई ऑपरेशन करूँ फॉर एग्जांपल ए इक्वल टू फोर ए इक्वल टू फाइव और उसके बाद फिर सी इक्वल टू ए प्लस बी और अगर उसके बाद फिर मेरे को अगर सी को प्रिंट करना है तो मैं या तो डायरेक्टली प्रिंट से लिख सकता हूँ या फिर मेरे पास बस एक ऑपरेशन है तो मैं अगर डायरेक्टली सी लिखूंगा तब पर भी वो सी को सी को प्रिंट कर देता है ये मतलब तुम्हारा जुपिटर नोटबुक का तुम एडिशनल फीचर कह सकते हो इसका पाइथन से कुछ नहीं लेना और कंटिन्यूइंग अच्छा हाँ वो भी बना देता हूँ पाइथन पढ़ा है क्या इधर ओके थिंग इज दैट यू कैन ऑल्सो डिक्लेयर वेरिएबल इन थ्री कोर्ट्स थ्री कोर्ट्स इज फॉर मल्टी मल्टी लाइन Okay, three quotes is for multi multi line. If you want to give multi line string, so you can have you can have multi line string declaration with uh, with three quotes. ये वो नहीं प्रिंट नहीं करेगा. I would suggest you to uh, you to keep with print statement also only. Uh, you will know about these things later. You will get familiar with the. collab notebook so you you saw that that uh, it, it just prints this is like the string iteral you can see that uh, however the string will be written on your uh, on this like var name it will be displayed like that only so if i just give how like if i want to just give everything uh, indented let's see okay this is me trying to make it look good so it will be printed like this only so this is like one of the one of the one of the what do you say one of the advantages you get with string uh, string iterals and the next thing is that you can uh, write in multiple lines if you use uh, triple quotes uh, this is called string iteral only i don't, I don't know just know that single quotes double quote triple uh, three quotes you can use all of them to uh, to generate a string okay let's just see if this works this should work okay, will this work or not Uh, will this work or not? Ha, escape characters can be used. Escape characters can obviously be used. Okay, this will also work. You can, ah, uh, you can also try to be more collaborative in the chat. This will also work because based on basically, basically this Python treats single quotes and double quotes also. So basically, if you can declare a string with single quotes, you can do it with double quotes also. Hmm. So we are done. Ha. Next, next is that string formatting. so string ha huh? what is the drawback of python part drawback of python is python is slow a bit python is slow a lot so you don't use it for doing competitive programming but python is easy to learn and then it it, uh, it is it is easy to write your code so that's why it is used for machine learning uh, you 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 just keep on typing your code if you if you just uh, try to write your much machine learning code in python What are the escape? Ah, uh, uh, backslash is your escape character here also. Backslash is your escape character. For example, let's just say, um, where can I write it? Okay. 
Hello. Let's backslash is escape character. This will print that hello dot also with hello. Let's backslash is escape character. Anything else? Time does not, no, 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 time basically, time matters. But the thing is that when you train your model, uh, so the time you uh, time you take to train your model is a lot. So basically your time complexity, everything does not matter a lot, matter a bit. It doesn't matter a lot because uh, the, you know, that big O of time complexity, uh, the heaviest computation thing that you perform. Backslash is not escape character, backslash is for new line only. How to print in CM line? Uh, you can just Google these things. Uh, you have to write comma and then end equal to. You can do it like this. No, I'm not going to tell you that. Just Google it. You have to. Uh, I have not written print suite. I will show you the next thing. Okay, the next is string formatting. Let's continue with the class. Huh? I won't suggest to this format in Python 3. Uh, we have something, one more thing that was F string. All right. So if I want to. Huh? Okay. So what F string did was, if I if I want any string to be F string, I just have to write F in F uh, F in front of that string before the uh, before starting the string, and now I can give variable names here. For example, I just give uh, we have a variable hello, and then I can uh, and then I can give another variable name here, okay. and then it will generate the variable with something. Else. And it will then generate a string where it will replace the hello. So for for example, you can write f, and then you can write your normal string. You can use your uh, curly braces. Uh, you can use your curly braces to give variable name. So if I just print hw12, you will see that it oh wow one I missed a bone then right. Print hello how are you one. So this is F string. This is quite uh, this is quite uh, quite useful because it's uh, it uh, it if you want to write big string then F string can be see, uh, can be useful. So you all understood F string. What F string is? So why why have you write hello in the middle braces? Hello is hello is a variable name, all right. And world is a variable name. So what I'm doing is if okay. So if I have to write, if if I have to generate this string, hello, how are you, world? So I want to, okay, let's do it. Variable name or uske value same, but I'm confused. Okay, I'm going to say it. Okay, let's go with Name equal to, let's go with Pratyaksh. Name equal to Pratyaksh. And, and subset equal to AI. Okay, if I want to create new string, and in this new string, what I basically want is, let's say, uh, new string. In this new string, I want to do Pratyax loves AI. So one way for me to do is for doing string concatenation. That is name plus loves. And then I can give subset. Okay. So if I will just print new string here. It worked as we supposed it to Pratyax loves AI. Now the next thing is that by using F string, we can just get over this whole string on cat in string concatenation thing. So I just uh, let's say F string. So for writing an F string, what we have to do, we have to uh, start our the variable initialization with F. So we use F, we use the double quotes. And then for all the variable name, we just need to keep the variable name in, in curly braces. So I can just keep a name and then I can give it space. I can write loves. And then I can give the subject. And I can print that string here. And you'll see the same thing. So it helps us in basically getting over the uh, getting over that uh, string concatenation thing. So F string can be useful here because you don't need to do a string concatenation. You can also uh, this this is basically uh, uh, you know are you all familiar with JavaScript? Did you get this, what I was trying to do or not? No, we are not familiar with JavaScript, sir. Okay, so... Could you repeat the last part, uh, F string one? Achha, the F string. So, in F string, what we can do is we can give the string value as well as variable name in the same string. So, what it basically does, it, it replaces, the, for example, the variable name. Variable name is name, all right? 
so it goes here it's a it sees a curly braces it sees a curly braces it knows now that this is a variable so what is the value of that variable the value of that variable is pratyaksh so it just comes here and then it puts pratyaksh here and then next is my common uh, normal string and uh, then after that i have subject uh, this is like a simple thing na uh, for example if 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 i just give you how to write uh, you just write the variable and i want my name here and then i want some string here and then i want the subject here just uh, just uh, don't think as uh, it as a computer as a, like a coding kind of just think as that this is your normal thing you write your variable here that i want the value of variable to be here and i i want the value 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 of the variable subject to be substituted here अरे बेसिकली ये कि मतलब नेम की वैल्यू जो है ये डबल क्रेसेस डबल ब्रेसेस ये बता रहा है कर्ली ब्रेसेस ये बता रहा है कि इसके अंदर जो रहेगा ना इसके अंदर कोई एक्सप्रेशन या वैल्यू कोई एक्सप्रेशन या वेरिएबल नेम रहेगा मेरे तो ये कर्ली ब्रेसेस क्या करता है कि इस 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 वेरिएबल को सॉल्व करता है और इसकी जो वैल्यू आती है वो यहाँ पे अपेंड कर देता है तो जब तुम इसको रन करते हो तो जो नेम है नेम रिप्लेस होकर यहाँ पे प्रत्यक्ष आ जाता है और उसके बाद फिर जो सब्जेक्ट है सब्जेक्ट की जो वैल्यू है वो तुम्हारे ए है तो यहाँ पे जो सब्जेक्ट की वैल्यू ए है वो उसको ए से रिप्लेस कर देता है तो जो नेम है वो तुम्हारा प्रत्यक्ष आ गया और लब्स आ गया उसका जो सब्जेक्ट है वो एआई आ गया तो ये वो नॉर्मल से तुम्हारी चीज है कि मतलब हां ओके और कोई को दिक्कत सर यहां पे एफ स्ट्रिंग क्या शो करता है मींस दैट फिक्स स्ट्रिंग शो कर रहा है नहीं नहीं एफ स्ट्रिंग फिक्स स्ट्रिंग नहीं चाहिए ये फिक्स्ड है तुमको लग रहा है फिक्स्ड है मैं इसको चेंज कर ही सकता हूं चलो एफ स्ट्रिंग को कुछ और कर दे नहीं एफ स्ट्रिंग बस एक है नहीं एफ स्ट्रिंग ये नहीं दिखा रहा तुम इसको वो मत समझो ना ये तो प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज इस तरीके से लिखा गया कि अगर 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 तुम किसी स्ट्रिंग के सामने एफ लिख दे तो मैं उस तर, इसको इस तरीके से डील करूंगी I need to do something. For us. similarly, if the if it sees that there is a F string, it it knows that it has to evaluate it first. So this is not like some kind of F stands for something or not. Okay, Sir, is it is necessary some... for the variables to be string only? No, 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 no. You can you can you can do replace any variable. You can you can. It should be an expression. You can just replace it with. I don't want to make it more for you, but you asked it. So you can you can re replace it with uh, with it fit with an. Expression also. The main thing is that whatever you write inside this uh, curly braces, na, it should return a value. When you write a uh, write a variable name here, what it does, it return the value pratyaksh. You write an expression here, four plus so return the value six. So whatever you write in this curly braces should return a value. Uh, you you would uh, uh, learn about it once you get familiar with the language. So let's continue. I don't know. It's already eleven. Okay. Now, so I think F string was clear a bit. This is like basically for formatting only. Come on, ma'am. How is memory managed in Python? Nah, nah. You should Google it. Everything is clear here. Yes, sir. It is managed use labels. Nah, memory management. Memory management in Python. Ah, you. I will tell you how memory is managed. Just stop after the class. I will tell you how memory is managed in Python. JavaScript people taught you about these things, na? Nah? Web dev. Okay, you did not. You did not. Did web dev class? Okay, let's continue with it. Huh. So now our strings have some function, and it is like it is super. Uh, you you have like this as dot capitalize, capitalize what it capitalize does it it okay. Now this will be more clear. What capitalize does it? It capitalizes the first letter of each word. Upper does it? It converts everything to uppercase. R just is right justify, and this won't have any effect here. Let's just do seventeen. You don't need these things, all right? Uh, these are these are for just like uh, for formatting type of thing. So uh, I'm just going to tell you what capitalize does it. It capitalizes the first word and something more is important here. That is lower. Lower is for lower case. So these are the functions on each thing. Capitalize capitalizes the first letter of each word. Upper converts the whole string in an upper letter. Lower what it does it 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 just makes everything lower case. And after that, write this. Uh, R justified is what it does. It it justifies your content by right. Uh, here, seventeen means that after justification, the length of uh, the length of whole sentence should be seventeen. Uh, you can skip these things. Uh, these are not. Uh, you don't really need to format things on the terminal. Replace. It will replace all the your word L with E L L, and that also with curly braces. Replace. Find this and replace it with this. Uh, okay. Uh, and we will talk about step. Step is important. 
So as so always, upper Keynes means here caps lock means that all covered into capital. Haan, letters. Upper upper ha upper is for upper all all into all into capital letters. Okay okay. Lower is for all into lower cases. Now you know replace and let's talk about strip. Okay, uh, let's see if you understand it. You saw what happened when I used strip. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Did you see what happened when I used strip? What strip basically did was it removed all the all the preceding void spaces and all the ending void strip or void spaces. So this is what strip strip does. Uh, are we clear here? Strip. What strip does? All right, cool. And similarly, I have R strip. I think R strip will basically remove only the white stay white spaces from the right side. So, a core word uh, example laker, ye strip ko samjhaye na. Arey, ye sabse achhe example hai. Nee, means samaj nahi aaya. Arey, jo strip hota hai na, ye basically kya karta hai ki tumara ye jo starting ke white spaces hai aur ending ke white spaces hai, unko khatam kar deta hai. Aur jo beach ke tumare white spaces rehte hai na, wo wo waise ke waise hi reh jate hai. Agar void ke beach mein tumare white spaces hai, matlab ye sare white spaces ko khatam nahi karta, but bas starting and end wale ke white spaces ko khatam karta hai. Samajh ho? Jaise ye dekh yahan pe. World, world जो है या यहाँ पे जो तुम्हारे स्पेस है वो तुम्हारे स्पेस यहाँ पे भी है and this uh, and one more thing these things are not important for you to print on terminal uh, you can just store it in some variable if I write some variable h and then h will have those uh, that strip part so there is this word h and where all your data all your data so it means all the preceding all all the preceding spaces has been stripped uh, this can be uh, really useful sometimes for example if you if you, if you are taking input from a user and the user gives input with spaces and all everything. So you don't want your, uh, you don't want uh, you want your that you want your program to be proof of it, proof of this. So this is where a strip can be useful. And similarly, if I just use R strip, so it will only strip the white spaces on the right side. Right side means that this part, this part has been stripped here, and the left part, left part is this one. Uh, so this is still here. And then we got L strip. Okay, L strip. What does L strip? So. It will remove spaces from the left part. I am a genius. Now it does from the left part. So you got the right spaces here only. So are we are done with strip. Wow. So string is done. Oh, WebEx also strips the text. Huh? WebEx does strip the text. Like trim in Java. Yes, like trim in Java. Kya fayda, sir? Iska, iska fayda ye hai ki, uh, jab tum, uh, real world data sets are kaam karte rahoge na, to kabhi kabhi tumhe wo hoga. कि मतलब स्टार्टिंग में काफी कई कई ज्यादा स्पेसेस आएंगे तो उसको हटाने में इसका फायदा हो जाता है ठीक है और हां बहुत जगह फायदा जैसे जैसे तुम कोड करते जाओगे तुमको पता चलेगा ये स्ट्रिप स्प्लिट ये सब यूज करोगे काफी ठीक है नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू कंटेनर्स कंटेनर्स इज लिस्ट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट लिस्ट ओके लिस्ट इज लाइक योर अरे इन का नेम इट लिस्ट लिस्ट इज लाइक योर अरे इन अरे इन सी प्लस प्लस और अरे मींस एनीथिंग इट कंटेंस एलिमेंट the good thing about python list is you can you can keep of different data types hello uh, you can you can keep one even one more list inside it one two three so you can keep different data types inside a list so this is not like a python array that you have to only keep integers or you have to only keep only keep strings and everything you can keep anything you want here so if i just uh, so this is where your list is uh, the indexing is done like normally only so if i if you want to if you want to go to the for, first index so lst0 will give you four lst1 will give you hello and lst2 will give you and one more thing you would like to uh, love about python is that if you do negative indexing now it does it starts indexing with uh, with backside so if i if i just do list minus one so list minus one is like zero it from the last. This minus one does, uh, for example, list minus one is minus one is this, minus two is two, minus the minus three, uh, minus three is this. One. So if I do just do list minus one, so minus one is um, uh, negative indexing is for like if you want to index from the back side. So from zero from the front, one from minus one from the back side. If you want to index from the back side, so this is like here indexing is clear here. How indexing is done? So two things we have discussed here. First thing is that. 
क्या नेगेटिव इंडेक्सिंग यस सर ये वाला पार्ट एक बार रिपीट कर दीजिए अच्छा ठीक है हाँ ये देखा माइनस वन जो है माइनस वन इज फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू राइट नेगेटिव इंडेक्सेस नेगेटिव इंडेक्स इज दैट नेगेटिव मींस दैट यू आर गोइंग टू ट्रैवर्स फ्रॉम बैक साइड मींस आई वांट टू डू माय इंडेक्सेस फ्रॉम द बैक साइड सो इफ आई जस्ट डू इट हियर सो इन पॉजिटिव इफ आई गो टू पॉजिटिव सो इन पॉजिटिव दिस विल बी इंडेक्स जीरो एंड दिस विल बी इंडेक्स वन एंड दिस वन विल बी इंडेक्स टू नाउ इफ आई डू नेगेटिव इंडेक्स फॉर द सेम so for in negative indexing you will start your indexing from here this will be done minus 1 and uh, this is not minus 0 this is not minus 0 is because 0 and minus 0 are same obviously that's common sense and then this one will be your minus 2 and this one will be your minus 3 and this negative indexing can be really useful for you if you want to uh, like get the last element or you want to get the last second element this type of thing so minus 1 is uh, 1 2 3 and if i just do minus 2 it is hello and then minus 3 4 okay are we clear with list list and indexing of list yes sir okay and then list is mutable mutable means that you can change the value of a list so i can just make ls3 2 which was earlier which was earlier uh, some one more list i can just change change it to world Uh, so if i just print lst now you will see that our list has changed now so now you have four hello world these type of thing and here in python string is immutable means if i just uh, dip, uh, make a string 1 2 3 4 5 and i want to do s 3 equal to equal to what s3 let's make s3 equal to 9 so in python you can't change a string like this uh, if you want to change a string you have to use substr and all we will learn about how, how you want to if you want to just change this third index how you will achieve that so list are mutable you can uh, change the value of a list using list index and then give it a value okay next if you want to insert something in the list you can uh, simply use list dot append lst dot a double p do append and this will basically put anything in the end of it anything uh, anything in the end of the list okay. uh, and uh, be clear with one more thing if you if you uh, like uh, run the cell more than one times na that pro that that piece of code will be executed more than once for example if i just uh, run list dot append one more time so now the list what will the value of list happens is you will have list h4 and 4 for example this is because for the first time i run the list it already appended 4 here and then i run it again and so it appended for also here. so this append is like push back in your python program in your c++ program so if you want to do something uh, add something at the end of the list you can use append or you can also do this lst plus uh this one okay let's see yeah. now this won't work okay. uh, you can uh, you can concatenate list uh, like this because list and string obviously they don't work okay so you know about list append and then list dot pop will basically uh, list dot pop will basically what okay come on uh, what will lst dot pop to what will lst dot pop to how to access list 1 2 3 will that be similar to accessing delete the three? last element Ah, uh, good. When the session is over, so good. I think at twelve, I remove the last element. Uh, we are moving very slow. Uh, let's still remove the last element. I would try to. Okay, so this was. Ah, uh, this is enough for the list. And next thing is quite important. We will talk about slicing now. And that slicing is slicing is basically okay. And ah, uh, okay. Let's talk about ah. Uh, and one more thing, you can ah. Uh, th 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 there is this function in Python range. Think and if you do one four, uh, it what it does is it gives you starting from one and ending at four. Ending at four means four is not included. It will give you a list that has number from a uh, so list. Okay. One two three. What I did this now is I type list and then enclosure into uh, 
I included the list. It's what is called as type casting. I just converted one into I just converted one data type into another. This is called type casting. For example, if I want to similarly means I just change the data type of it. Range is basically another data type kind of thing. So basically, this is not what I want to show you right now. It is that range can be used to generate number between starting and ending. And uh, so range is three uh, range takes three parameter. One is the starting. It will start from one. And then end at four means four is not included here. Similarly, I can do seven, so it will print one, two, three, four, five, six. And the next argument it take is step. Step is like uh, how many jumps you want. For example, if I do two jumps, so it will print one, three, and five. So it takes one. It skip the one element, and then it does one, one plus two, then the answer plus two, and it keep on going that. So this is the step. You can just this will one and four. You put it here 15 and you will get a lot more. This was the range function in Python. Now coming about slicing. Uh, slicing is like if you do uh, slicing is like slicing is basically that if you want to access more than one of the element. So slice has two things. For example, in any list, slice is like basically uh, like that only, like your numbers only. This is this part is start of the slice. So I want to start from zero. I want to go till the fourth element. I don't think it has three. Okay, go to third element. Excuse me, sir. Huh? Sir, वो seventy three line में जो आपने लिखा ना list range वो फिर से एक बार explain कर दीजिए कि उसका output one four seven कैसे आया? एक से start होगा और तीन तीन जुड़ता जाएगा एक में और पंद्रह तक पहुँचेगा. ये है starting index, ये है ending index और ये है step. इतने का step size लेगा ये. Okay, okay, okay. ठीक it means you are going till the end so this will basically print all of them uh, from starting to end it will print all of them from starting to end it print four hello world four and so this is like starting i want to start with index of okay. let's just print list here so that it will be clear so you list have these element i want to start at i want to create a new this what list is basically used is that if i want to access a part of a list If I want to access hello and what, what I can say is I want to start from the first index, and I want to go to the third index because third is not included here. So it will say that from one till third. And similarly, if I don't put anything before the semicolon, it means that I want to start from the beginning. Or hello world. And if I don't put anything after the semicolon, it means that I want to go till the end. It will start from the word and go till the end of the code. And then next thing you want, pro, you probably want to do is you also have a step function here. Like if you want to jump steps, for example, I want to start from one. Okay, let's just uh, let's make list a bigger one. Okay, okay, we can use this now. So this will have basically have one to fourteen elements, and then if I do list one, so what will this show us? It will start from the first index and go to the end. So total fifteen, total fourteen, sorry. And if I just put anything after it, it means that start from one and go to the seventh. Well, means this index is not included. So one to and all about me. You all are smart. And the next thing I want to talk about is that you can also give one more parameter to it, and that is the step here. If you want to jump steps, so for example, if I want to do two, it will just do that. It will start from the first index and then it goes to plus two, then it goes to plus two, and then it stops here for seven and six. If I do, if I don't stop it here, and let's say, so what this basically does is, I want to start from the beginning, I want to go till the end, and I want to keep taking steps of one, I keep taking steps of two. 
So it starts from one, go to three, go to five, go to seven, go to nine, go to eleven, then thirty. Okay. Same thing you can do with uh, string also. So the slicing is clear. Slicing part. Sir, can you give one more example of slicing? One more example. I gave you lots of examples. So, a confusion था. जैसे यहाँ पे LST is equal to list range one से fifteen आपने लिखा है तो अगर default by default उसने one की size लिया तो one से fifteen तक पूरा लेन लेना चाहिए ना तो उसने fifteen को include क्यों नहीं किया है जैसे one को include किया है starting part को नहीं मैं बोल रहा हूँ कि ये last वाले को include नहीं करता इसको include करेगा last वाले को include नहीं करेगा तो इसको ये समझ सकते मतलब बिल्ड फंक्शन के तौर पे कहा दिया है ना ही ये इनबिल्ड फंक्शन है तो ये इसने खुद से नहीं नहीं ये 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 इनबिल्ड फंक्शन ओके ओके ये ये स्टार्ट को इंक्लूड करेगा और एंड को इंक्लूड नहीं करेगा ठीक है और ये और ये जो दूसरे वाले में आपने जब वन से वन थ्री फाइव सेवन इसमें हम्म इसमें मैंने स्टार्ट को लिया एंड को भी लिया और दो के स्टेप्स लिए तो दूसरे वाले ये एंड वाले को आपने वो जो ब्रैकेट लिया उसकी वजह से आ रहा है नहीं नहीं एंड वाला इसलिए आ रहा है क्योंकि देखा ये होता है ना मैं तेरे को बता रहा हूँ ये पहला स्लाइस बताता है कि स्टार्ट कहाँ से करना है दूसरा स्लाइस बताता है कि एंड कहाँ पे करना है तो ये अगर मैं हाँ लेट्स से मैं तेरे को तो बोलूँगा अगर मैं ये कहूँ कि तो ये बोलता है कि वन से स्ट और अगर तू यहाँ पे बोल लेता है कि माइनस वन तो माइनस वन के केस में इंड को इंक्लूड नहीं करेगा क्योंकि माइनस वन जो ये वो ये वाले इंडेक्स आ जाएगा तो ये फिर सिर्फ यहाँ से जाएगा और यहाँ तक रहेगा और अगर तुम इसमें भी देखो अगर सेवेंथ को देखो ना तो ये देखना ये टू से स्टार्ट करेगा और सेवन तक जाएगा तो टू ये देखिए तुम्हारा फर्स्ट इंडेक्स सेकेंड इंडेक्स थर्ड इंडेक्स फोर्थ इंडेक्स फिफ्थ इंडेक्स सिक्स इंडेक्स तो ये जो सेवन्थ इंडेक्स जो कि तुम्हारा एट है ना वो इसको इंक्लूड नहीं कर रहा है तो मैं थोड़ा सा इसको तुम्हें क्लियर कर देता हूँ अब ये देखो अभी तुमको क्लियर होगा थोड़ा जब ये जीरो से स्टार्ट करेगा हाँ अब देख अब तुम्हारे इंडेक्सिंग मैच होगी हाँ तो ये देखो ये बोल रहा है कि यू हैव टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम वन यू हैव टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट इंडेक्स सो व्हाट इज़ द फर्स्ट इंडेक्स फर्स्ट इंडेक्स इज़ द वन एंड देन यू हैव टू गो टिल द सेवेंथ इंडेक्स विदाउट इंक्लूडिंग द means that वो last वाले को include कर ही नहीं रहा मतलब जब तक हम लोग उसे function देंगे बोलेंगे नहीं तब तक वो last वाले को include नहीं करेगा हाँ वो last वाले को नहीं करेगा इसके साथ हाँ अभी हाँ class के बाद इसके साथ थोड़ा खेलना समझ में आ जाएगा इसमें dictionary के बारे में हमने कहा हाँ ठीक है चल dictionary भी सीख लो the next thing we will talk about is dictionary प्रत्येक class बारह से बाहर चली जाएगी हाँ पता है क्या करूँ मैं हाँ यार वो तो सही है तो भगा नहीं सकते साला फाड़ कल ही करें हाँ कल करते हैं क्या करेंगे आज पाइथन से करते हैं आज नहीं हुआ आज ये ये ही सब ज़्यादा हो रहा है लाइब्रेरीज कल ही करते हाँ आज अरे ये ये बोलने भी जल्दी जल्दी नहीं दे रहे अरे नहीं जल्दी जल्दी नहीं सम तो लाइब्रेरी क्लास कंसेक्यूटिवली अगर कल भी रखने तो किसी को कोई प्रॉब्लम है क्या? अगर कल भी क्लास आ पाओगे तुम लोग अगर कल भी लेते हैं हाँ सर आ जाएंगे आ जाएंगे कल कोई प्रॉब्लम है किसी को तो बता दो इतना कुछ लोड तो नहीं देंगे साइमेंट वगैरह भी नहीं देंगे साइमेंट कल ही देंगे कल लेते मशीन लर्निंग पे स्किप कर नहीं सकते हैं अगर पाइथन तुम्हें नहीं आते हैं तो कुछ समझ में नहीं आएगा ठीक है चलो ठीक है यार अगर मतलब अगर तुम लोग अगर से ज़्यादा भी हो सकती हैं तुम्हारी ये क्लासेस ये क्लासेस मतलब हो रही है अगर मतलब इनको पसंद आ रहे अगर हम पढ़ा रहे अगर इनको अच्छा लग रहा है तो ठीक है और भी क्लासेस ले लेंगे अगर ये पार्टिसिपेशन आता रहा तो क्लासेस करवाते रहेंगे असाइनमेंट्स आते रहेंगे बाकी यूं नहीं कि 50 बच्चे ऐसे तुम एक्सपेक्ट कर रहे हो कि क्लास हो ऐसे ऐसे ही मतलब ऐसे ही पढ़ाएंगे जैसे आराम से पढ़ा रहे हैं और क्योंकि हम लोग को हम लोग को भाई हम लोग को ऐसे कोई पढ़ाया था नहीं हम लोग को मतलब ऐसे हम लोग एमएल के लेक्चर में आए थे और मतलब हम लोग को क्या कुछ हवाई नहीं लगा तो जितना हम लोग सीखे हम लोग कुछ से सीखे तो वो चाहते हैं तो इससे तुम देखो सब सब 
तो वही हम चाह रहे हैं कि मतलब थोड़ा तुम लोग को अच्छे से सिखा दे ताकि तुम लोग को मतलब पता चले कि ये क्या क्या तुम कूल एप्लीकेशन बना सकते हैं मजे क्योंकि तुम चाहो तो अगर तुम्हें बस प्लेसमेंट चाहिए मतलब मोस्टली तो प्लेसमेंट के लिए आयो तुम लोग तो ऑब्वियसली बात है प्लेसमेंट चाहिए तो तुम चार साल बस सी सी करके तुम प्लेसमेंट पा के जा सकते हो लेकिन फिर एक वो चीज होता है ना कि यू वॉन्ट टू बिल्ड समथिंग ऑफ योर ओन जैसे अभी तुम वो वो जितने भी देख रहे थे जितने तुम एप्लीकेशन देख रहे थे ए के जो मैं क्लास के स्टार्ट से पहले दिखाया था so those were like those were not any experiments uh, that will yield you money matlab kuch bhi aisa experiment nahi tha jaisa tum paisa are wo hide and seek khela usse tumko kya milega koi paisa waisa to nahi mil raha na lekin ha uh, simple se baat hai you made you, uh, you made a game using ai kaun se badi baat hai but that thing is like na the satisfaction that gives you like ha you have built something like mere mere ko matlab uh, main web db kiya uske baad main ml bhi kiya the main motivation for me was that na ki you do a question of cc you solve a question you work hard for it you do a question of cc and after that what happens so you solve you solve the question one uh, it took you one hour or two hours you solve the question okay you solve the question move you moved on what did you get from solving the question ha you got a problem solving skill but but like that was not enough for me means i wanted something more if i if i was learning something if i was like if i was like means if i was working hard for something i wanted something to be something to show for it. so this is like by uh, if i build a model in ml or usko matlab agar main koi bhi aisa project ho sakta bana to mere ko agar ek mahine bhi lagta hai na at the ek at the end of one month mere ko satisfaction rehta hai ki ha i build this project i have something to show are wo to matlab jaise jaise aage badhte jaoge na there is if you build something from scratch na so there is a different satisfaction in it dekho to bhai agar if you want na अपकमिंग इंडस्ट्री में एआई का काफी ज्यादा स्कोप है तो ऐसा नहीं कि आज सीसी कर लिए तो सब कुछ सही होगा तो पता है ना आगे चल के एआई कितना बूम हो रहा है इनफैक्ट इसका ग्रोथ कितना ज्यादा है अरे तो सीख लोगे तो अच्छा ही है तुम्हारे लिए अरे बस तुम लोग वो देख लेना अभी मतलब ओपन कोड गूगल ब्रेन्स का है को पायलट करके है तुम उसका यूज के कैटापल्ट कैटापल्ट गेटअप कैटापल्ट उसके बारे में पढ़ लेना गेटअप कैटापल्ट अब मतलब वो कोड खुद पे खुद कर देता है और अभी रिसेंट में गूगल ब्रेन्स का है मतलब मैं तुमसे नहीं बोल रहा हूँ कि मतलब वो चीजें हम करेंगे लेकिन यू विल हैव समथिंग गुड टू स्टार्ट मतलब जैसे अगर मैं अपने प्रोजेक्ट्स का बात बताऊँ तो जैसे मेरे खुद के मतलब और मैं ये नहीं बता रहा कि जैसे ये हम लोग ऐसे बेवकूफ है बस पढ़ा के बस खत्म कर दे हमारे पास कोई प्रोजेक्ट प्रोजेक्ट नहीं मतलब मैं सिर्फ अगर अपने जैसे यहाँ पे जितने बैठे हैं तो वे आर प्रोजेक्ट फॉर मशीन ट्रांसलेशन मतलब वो ट्रांसलेशन खुद से करने का होता है इमेज डिटेक्शन का इमेज सेगमेंटेशन उसके बाद फिर म्यूजिक जनरेशन सबके पास ऐसा प्रोजेक्ट बने हुए मतलब ऐसे प्रोजेक्ट बन के पड़े हुए और हाँ ठीक है मतलब सीसी में मतलब यहाँ पे देखा कर रहे हैं तो मतलब ऑब्वियसली सीसी मैं नहीं मैं एकदम नहीं बोलूंगा तुमसे कि सीसी छोड़ के एआई करना हाँ लेकिन दिन भर सीसी करने से मतलब थोड़ा थोड़ा ध्यान दो मतलब सीसी मतलब बस एआई ही नहीं अगर मतलब तुमको किसी भी चीज में इंटरेस्ट आ रहा है ना वेब डी हो या एप डी हो तो उसको उसमें थोड़ा उसमें थोड़ा को पायलट नहीं कैटे पलटेटअप कैटे तो उसमें मतलब अगर तुम्हारा एप डी वेब डी या क्या कहते हैं ए आई साइबर से कहीं भी इंटरेस्ट आ रहा है ना तो थोड़ा टाइम दो मतलब ये फिर कॉलेज का टाइम रहता है यहाँ पे मतलब तुम्हें कोई भी चीज करने के लिए ना वो नहीं मिलता मतलब कोई तुमको मना नहीं कर सकता अगर तुम्हें ए आई सीखना है तुम सीखो तुम्हें कोई नहीं मना करेगा तुमको कुछ तो ऐसा तुम ऐसा कुछ ऐसा सीखो ना जो मतलब कॉलेज में कुछ नहीं सीख रहा तो तुम ठीक है तुम एन एफ तुम ब्लॉक के बारे में सीखो तुम्हें कोई रोकने वाला नहीं है और यही टाइम है मतलब जहाँ पे तुम्हें कोई तुमको कोई रोकने वाला नहीं रहता अभी भी मतलब तुम सीसी कर रहे हो तुमको सीसी पसंद नहीं आ रहा है और फिर भी करो मैं बोलूंगा सीसी करो क्योंकि सीसी इंपॉर्टेंट है जॉब्स के लिए सीसी बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है जॉब के लिए तो सजा हाँ मैं भी सीसी करता हूँ लेकिन सीसी करो बट डिवाइड दैट टाइम ना खुद के लिए भी और कुछ टाइम दो जहाँ पे मतलब तुम जो चाहते हो वो सीखो क्योंकि ये जो कॉलेज के चार ईयर है तुम चाहो तो तुम मतलब कुछ किसी किसी भी तरीके से तुम इसको किसी भी तरीके से तुम इसको बिता सकते हो भाई तुम चाहे तो तुम मतलब बस वही नशे में पड़े रहो किसी को कुछ नहीं फर्क पड़ता तो मतलब कुछ किसी भी तरीके तुमको घूमना है तुमको गर्लफ्रेंड बनाना पड़े तुमको जो कर रहे हैं वो करो यहाँ पे तुमको कोई कुछ नहीं बोल रहा तो आ, तो तुमको यहाँ पे कोई कुछ नहीं बोल रहा है बस बेसिक से ये बात होती है कि मतलब कुछ टाइम उनके लिए भी दो ना जो चीजें मतलब तुमको इंटरेस्ट करती मैं बस एआई की बात नहीं कर रहा वेब डी और मैं बहुत ज्यादा तुमको इंटरेस्ट मैं मतलब मैं तुम्हें बहुत ज्यादा वो करूंगा मोटिवेट करूंगा कि ओपन सोर्स ओपन सोर्स जाओ भाई मतलब उन, उन प्रोग्राम्स में कंट्रीब्यूट करो जो कि अरे मैं मतलब मैं बस बता दे रहा हूँ ना कि तुमको उस चीज से ज्यादा कभी खुशी नहीं मिलेगी जब तुम कोई ऐप बनाओ जो दूसरे यूज कर रहे खुद यूज करो चाहे मत करो अगर दूसरा तुम्हारा ऐप यूज कर रहे होंगे ना कुछ भी तुम बनाए और कुछ कोई दूसरा आदमी तुम उस चीज को यूज कर रहा है ना तो उससे ज्यादा खुशी कभी नहीं मिलती तो भाई ये मतलब बेसिक सी बात है कि टाइम को
वो वो रूल करेगा तुमको वो बोलेगा कि नहीं तुमको एआई तुमको वो बोलेगा तुमको ब्लॉकचेन सीखना है तुमको ब्लॉकचेन सीखना है तुमको पसंद हो चाहे नो तुमको ब्लॉकचेन सीखना है तुमको क्या लग रहा है कि वो वो ऐसा तुम सीसी करके जाओगे तो वो तुमको सीसी के पैसे देंगे मतलब वो बोलेंगे जा है कर अर्थ पे क्वेश्चन सॉल्व कर हाँ कोर्ट फोर्सेस में क्वेश्चन सोल्व करो उसके पैसे दूंगा मैं तुम्हें नहीं वैसा नहीं होता है वो बस लेते हैं कि हाँ अगर ये बंदा कोर्ट फोर्सेस में क्वेश्चन सोल्व किया हुआ तो इसका वो है मतलब कोर्ट तो इसको मतलब इसकी प्रॉब्लम सोल्विंग स्किल्स अच्छी है वो भी तुमसे यही काम कराएंगे वो तुमसे ए आई का काम कराएंगे वेब डी का काम कराएंगे इन्हीं सब का काम कराएंगे तो यहाँ पे तुम डिसाइड कर सकते हो तो अगर तुम्हें अगर मतलब तुम यहाँ पे ट्राई करो चीजें मैं तो फर्स्ट ईयर में मैं हर चीज ट्राई किया था मैं रियली मेरे को मैं मतलब मैं सी, मैं सी सी भी किया था साइबर सेक भी किया था ए भी किया था वेब भी किया था मैं एफ नहीं किया क्योंकि मेरा मेरा कंप्यूटर बहुत घटी एफ डी नहीं करने का सिर्फ यही रीजन था और उसके बाद फिर मेरे को जो सबसे ज्यादा पसंद है मैं उसको फिर कंटिन्यू किया और हाँ और उसके बाद अगर मतलब तुमको चीजें अभी कुछ नहीं है ना तुम अगर तुम मतलब तुम चाहे तुम सोच रहे हो तुमको ए अच्छा लग रहा है तुम कंटिन्यू करो कुछ कुछ समय बाद तुमको ए अच्छा नहीं लग रहा है ठीक है छोड़ दो कुछ और स्टार्ट करो तुम्हें कोई कुछ रोक नहीं रहा है ना और लेकिन अगर तुम मतलब तुम कुछ ऐसा तुमको मिल गया ना मतलब जो तुमको बहुत ज्यादा अच्छा लगने लगा तो तुम्हारे पास अभी फ्रीडम है कि मतलब तुम उस पूरे उसमें तुम अच्छे से जा सकते हो पता है मतलब यहाँ पे सभी आए थे सभी आए थे पैसे देख के कॉलेज में कि मतलब वहाँ प्लेसमेंट बहुत अच्छा है इस कॉलेज के तो चलते हैं चार साल मजे करेंगे और उसके बाद फिर प्लेसमेंट आएंगे फिर धीरे धीरे क्या होता है लोगों का देखोगे ना वो इंटरेस्ट मतलब उन्हें कुछ चीजें इतना अच्छा लगने लगता है ना कि देखो पर मा, मास्टर्स मास्टर्स के बाद फिर पी कर उसी चीज में दे वॉन्ट टू बिल्ड समथिंग इन दैट और फिर उसके बाद तुमको पैसे की फिर वैल्यू नहीं रहती है फिर बस यू वॉन्ट टू वर्क ऑन दैट थिंग और उस समय अच्छी खुशी मिलती है तो वही बात है मतलब अभी तुम्हारे पास कॉलेज के चार साल हैं तो भले मतलब हाँ तुम अरे मतलब मैं तुमको बता दू कि मैं जेई के टाइम जितना नहीं मैं जेई के टाइम उतना नहीं पढ़ता था जितना मैं अभी पढ़ता हूँ और मैं अभी बस मतलब मोस्टली एआई पढ़ता हूँ और और वो पढ़ता हूँ और सीसी करता हूँ और सीसी क्योंकि करता हूँ सीसी मतलब सीसी अच्छा भी लगता है थोड़ा बहुत और मजबूरी भी सी करना ही पड़ेगा तो वही है और बस लेकिन वही होता है कि मतलब एक बार अच्छा लगने लगता है चीजें ना अरे जैसे मैं स्टार्टिंग में तुमको वो वीडियो प्ले किया ना तो लाइक वो एक अंदर वो फीलिंग आती है वाओ वाली वाले तो उसके बाद जो नेक्स्ट आता है वो आता है कि यस आई वांट टू बिल्ड द सेम थिंग मुझे भी कुछ ऐसा करना है ना तो यू कैन जस्ट थिंक ऑफ दैट और यू कैन कंटिन्यू ऑन इट हां मैं सेकंड ईयर से हूं भाई तो ठीक है और तुम्हारे पास तो टाइम भी हम लोग को मतलब मेरे को क्या एक साल हो गए कॉलेज है एक से ज्यादा ही एक और हां मतलब हम लोग को तो मतलब ज्यादा तुम लोग से ज्यादा ही हेक्टिक था हम लोग का जो सेक्शन है शायद पता नहीं तो भाई अगर तुम मतलब कंटिन्यू करना चाहते हो तो तुम्हारे पास यही टाइम है अभी तुम हाँ बाद में हाँ ठीक है मतलब जो करना है वो करो हाँ सीसी मैं ये नहीं एकदम नहीं बोलूंगा सीसी छोड़ देना क्योंकि सीसी हाँ लेकिन सीसी को बस बैकअप की तरह रखो और हाँ और मतलब अगर तुम ओपन सोर्स में कंट्रीब्यूट मतलब तुम जैसा अभी ऐसा कॉलेज वॉलेज उसके देख रहे हो ना अभी तुम मतलब बस गूगल पे जाके ओपन सोर्स प्लेटफॉर्म्स के बारे में देखना मतलब वो काफी ज्यादा अच्छे होते हैं मतलब अगर तुम ओपन सोर्स में कंट्रीब्यूट करने लगे ना फिर तुम्हारी इज्जत नेक्स्ट लेवल पर होती है फिर मतलब फिर तुमको जॉब्स की किसी भी चीज की दिक्कत नहीं रहती अरे बस मतलब बस बिल्ड समथिंग जो अच्छा लगे लोगों को यू विल गेट जॉब इतना परेशान मत होगा हाँ तो ठीक है तो कंटिन्यू करते हैं बहुत होगा ज्ञान व्यान पढ़ने पहले पाइथन सीख लेते हैं उसके बाद फिर एआई के देखेंगे अगर मतलब अच्छा अगर रिस्पॉन्स आता रहा तो मतलब हम लोग अरे हमें खुद नहीं पता तुम्हारे पार्टिसिपेशन के अकॉर्डिंग देखते हैं लाइक जितना अच्छा होगा उतना ज्यादा क्लासेस कर सकते हैं वो तो हमें बस मतलब हमें मतलब कि हमें दो या तीन क्लासेस ही दे रहे थे बोला था एआई में कोई आता ही नहीं क्या करो ये क्लासेस लेते तो अगर पार्टिसिपेशन अच्छा रहता तो हम ऑब्वियसली कंटिन्यू करेंगे अगर पार्टिसिपेशन अच्छा रहा तुम्हारी तरफ से अच्छा रिस्पांस आ रहा है हम भी चाह रहे हैं कॉलेज में एआई कल्चर हां अरे हां मतलब अगर 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 ये सीरियसली मतलब अगर ये ऐसे मतलब ध्यान दे रहे हैं ना मतलब एआई को लेकर तो खुद भाई तो मतलब एपीके गया बाहर मतलब अगर तुम्हें खुद पढ़ने में इंटरेस्ट है तुम बोलोगे तो हम आकर तुम्हें पढ़ा देंगे हम तुम्हें रिसोर्सेज दे देंगे पढ़ने के लिए बस इंटरेस्ट दिखाओ चीजों में फिर वो करेंगे हम कंपटीशन होस्ट करते हैं तो हाँ जो भी अगर मतलब तुमको इंटरेस्ट आएगा तो ऑब्वियसली वी विल बी रेडी टू हेल्प मतलब हमसे पहले अभी देख हमारे कॉलेज में मतलब हम मेरे को नहीं लग रहा है मतलब दस बारह लोग भी एआई करते होंगे मुश्किल से पिछली बार क्या गी केवन में कितने सिलेक्शन आए थे कितने लोग और दस तो और उससे पहले थे वही और उससे पहले उससे उनसे कम लोग होते तो हमसे जो पहले लोग थे उन्होंने ट्राई किया कल्चर बढ़ाने का अभी जैसे
और ठीक है मतलब मेरे को एआई इसलिए भी पसंद है क्योंकि मतलब एआई में बैलेंस है वेब डी वेब डी में क्या होता है कि मतलब वो डिजाइन विजाइन वाला होता है तो वो मेरे को ज्यादा पसंद नहीं है और एआई में मतलब तुम्हारा सीखने को बहुत चीजें रहती है मतलब पर डे अरे पर डे तुम बस वो वो होता है बस हर हर दिन नया कुछ रहेगा और उसके बाद तुम नई चीजें सीखोगे और नहीं नहीं मतलब हम लोग सीख रहे थे हिमांशु मतलब कैसा था पहले वो नॉर्मल मशीन लर्निंग से स्टार्ट किए उसने ही हम लोग ऐसे मतलब बहुत चक्के हुए थे और उसके बाद तो फिर डीप लर्निंग पे आया था और जैसे डी5 वगैरह पढ़े वहां दिमाग खराब हो गया हां एकदम मतलब भाई अभी ट्रांसफार्मर वगैरह पढ़ रहे और दिमाग खराब हो रहा हमारा धीरे-धीरे हां मतलब दिमाग खराब होता है मतलब वो अच्छे वाले वे में होता है कि भाई मतलब बस ये होता है कि इसने सोच कैसा लिया है सर हम क्यों नहीं कर पाते तो वो चीज होता है नहीं भाई एआई मतलब वो वो उससे बहुत जारविस तुम्हें 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 क्यों लगता है कि मतलब तुम्हें लगता है कि अगर जारविस की तरह कोई अगर एआई आ गया तो उसको ह्यूमन जो है वो वो मतलब हैंडल हैंडल करे तुम छोड़ो तुम ह्यूमन रखोगे क्यों ह्यूमन तो लिमिट करेगा उसके कैपेबिलिटीज को और अगर तुम मनी का सोच रहे हो तो तुम लाइक हमारे सीनियर से मिलोगे वो एआई के फील्ड में ही है और बहुत कमा रहा है ठीक है तो भाई ठीक है ठीक है लेट्स रहे अरे थक वक नहीं गया हो ना चेता तो नेक्स्ट क्लास में कंटिन्यू करें नो सर आई गेस थोड़ा सा और कर लेता ठीक है हां ठीक है चल डिक्शनरी और फॉर लूप्स उस पढ़ लेते हैं उसके बाद नेक्स्ट क्लास में मॉड्यूल पढ़ेंगे ठीक है ठीक है डिक्शनरी इज बेसिकली योर की वैल्यू मैपिंग की वैल्यू मैपिंग इज फॉर एग्जांपल ओके की वैल्यू इज दैट यू कैन सर्च एनीथिंग इन अ डिक्शनरी इन ओवन टाइम यूजिंग अ की all right uh, so for example uh, i will just show you how it works for example uh, you can give any key you you has a value four and then i have okay let's just keep writing names na very easy very can easy dictionary paste components ah dictionary niche theek hai baad mein pad lenge theek hai aa jao for loops pe aate hain फेवरेट लिस्ट एल एस टी and then you can just print one and this will be like a hard to grasp for you for you all let's try to see it we'll print our list here also okay so what basically this statement says is for warning for warning in list so for each element in list in is a very in in, in, in is a very good operator in can be used for searching also for example uh, if i just show you this is list na so okay let's just say one in lst this is like asking one in lst means just just uh, just see what this means only is one in lst matlab ek lst mein hai ya nahi it returns only is one in lst or not is this the variable here in this in this iterable or not For example, if I just say is 15 in this list, no, 15 is not in this list. So you can use it for if else statement for searching also. If 15 in list, then if you want to do something, just do it. We have not covered if statement, so I won't uh, do it here. So for example, here also what we have done is for var name in list. So I want var name to go in each list. So example, what this says is each element one by one will be put in var name. First var name will have zero, and then it will go to one. and then what name will will have one and then what what name two will have two so this is like this is like the basic loop in python 
सो यू इटरेट ओवर और नेम अपडेट कैसे हो रहा है मतलब कि जैसे कि पहले 0 था फिर ये 1 पे कैसे पहुंचा मतलब कोई प्लस प्लस इंक्रीमेंट वो वो नहीं नहीं हां भाई ये भाई पाइथन में ही होता है कि मतलब देखो जैसे तुम वो होता है ना ये ये ऐसे तुम इसको समझ लो अगर मैं इसको पाइथन के कोड में लिखूं अगर देखो ठीक है अगर मैं इसको सी प्लस प्लस में लिखता हूं ना तो फॉर आई एम टू आई बराबर जीरो आई एस टू आई एम टू ये समझ के इतना जो है ना ये इतना काम ये करता है बस दिस थिंग फॉर वास्ट इन एलएसटी यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस दिस मच ऑपरेशन इज परफॉर्म्ड बाय दिस सो बेसिकली इज दैट दिस वर्ड नेम इज काइंड ऑफ इटरेटर ओनली इट जस्ट इटरेट ओवर ऑल द इट इटरेट ओवर ऑल द एलिमेंट इन द लिस्ट सो दिस इज नॉट यू डोंट सी एनी आई प्लस प्लस लूप हियर बिकॉज़ you don't see any matlab i plus plus loop because what basically it does it var var name starts from zero and then var name keeps moving one by one theek hai it is like kind of a inbuilt thing you will get familiar with this uh, what it basically is happens is i will want you to read it uh, try new things so that means try to do it implement it on your own again and again so what this is what basically happens is var name just keeps changing for first it goes from zero then one then two then three then four then five then six then seven then eight you don't need to increment anything in python in increment anything in python this is kind of a this is kind of a you know for each loop in python in c++ also you no know, you will have this one loop for int i in lst int i uh, you know this for each loop in c++ Sir, so will it always start from zero? What will always start from zero? Ah, uh, no, it will not start with zero. It will start from the what it basically says is that na iterate over all the elements of the list. It tells you that iterate over all the element of the list. Ah, uh, I can I can have any list, whatever I want. Let's say if I have a list for, I just changing my name. Hello. Hi. I I have this as my list, so it will iterate over all the element of the list. So it will first go to hello, then var name will have the value hello, and then when var name will have the value hi, and then hi will be printed, and then var name will have the value hi, and then hi will be printed. So this is the only loop that is in uh, that. This is the only for loop that is in Python. This is the only for loop that is in Python, and this is like it just iterate over all the element of the list. You can just uh, understand it like that. It will increase. It will. it read over all the element of the list so for example now some of you will ask that what if i want to uh, skip the first hello if i don't want to print the hello so i have already told you about list slicing you can just skip the first element and then you will have high impact so you can use list slicing and then uh, this list slicing and then it uh, this for loop is for iterating over list only so it iterate over the list one by one uh, element element wise it, it, it iterates over the List element wise, I think you are understand. You all are understanding it a bit. So, what if we want to iterate uh, in the reverse order? If you want to iterate over in the reverse order, then you will have to reverse the list. And in Python, if you want to reverse the list, let let me show you how you will reverse reverse the list. This reverses the list. Hi, hi, hello. Yes, sir. You know what I did right now? I told it. so i just i just i just told you know that if i don't write anything before uh, before the semicolon it means that it is from start and this goes for end all right okay don't try to understand just remember that this is like uh, this is the way to uh, reverse a list in python list dot dot uh, colon colon and then minus one this basically what it tells uh, that start from the uh, start from the border start from the back, start from zero start from the end and then go to the uh, start from the end and then just iterate Over all the element means in a step size of minus one means iterate in in the reverse order. So if I want to iterate over it in reverse order, I can just do this. Okay, sir. You all are understanding what this for 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 loop does, na? Yes, sir. Ah, uh, it it just ah uh, iterate over the iterate over the list element wise. Okay, sir. 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 Okay, sir.
all right cool with it uh, now some of you might ask that what if i want to uh, like use indexes and all now for example like for uh, if i want to do for int i equal to 0 i this kind of thing na uh, you can use here range only range i want to it to start from 0 total 10 10 will not be included and then you can see that this is like your normal one for int i equal to 0 i less than 10 and then i plus plus okay this range operator you, you all will love this range operator okay let me just uh, let me just uh, have this correlation for you already here okay i uh, will go with for now Less than ten. Let's. No, no, no. Let's do something better. And equal to ten. Then initial equal to zero. So can you all uh, do the relation between this for loop and the for normal for loop that you want? Huh? I just want that uh, uh, you are understanding what I wrote right here. Na? I can change the initial for you if I want to continue my loop from here, initial equal to 2. So it will start from 2 and go till the end, 10, and it will increment by 1. Now, if I want to increment it by more than 1, I can just write here, for example, if I want to increment it by 2, so this means that I want var name to be plus equal to. Uh, so this is kind of the step function. It starts with 0, goes till, sorry, it starts with 2, then 4, then 6, and then it, it never reaches 10 because 10 is like less than 10 volatile. So you all understand this thing? You are getting what I'm saying. No? I know this part is confusing for you. Yeah, so wow. So, Anyone with a no? Huh? So scroll the previous page. Hmm? So what does that init is equal to 2 signify? Yeah. And it is like the initial value. Initial value. Okay. And uh, uh, for var and, name in range init and two. Uh, so what it basically says for var name in init range equal to. So I have just uh, made an analogy for you. This means that for int var name equal to init comma var name less than n comma var name plus equal to two. This basically means that. So this statement in Python and this statement in C++ are similar only. Okay. So this is like your, the first one here. This is your initial uh, where you want your var name to start from. This is like your uh, this is like your ending point, and this is the step size that you will take. Sir, cool var name is plus is equal to two. Jo likha hai, iska matlab ye na ki second index ke uh, corresponding fir aage check karte jayenge. Nahi nahi, var name matlab hota hai ki var name ko tum do se increase kar rahe. Plus equal to two ka matlab hota hai. Means that ki agar first ham log index check kare to uske baad two steps chalenge. Next index ko check karne. Okay okay. Hmm. ज it returns an array only okay. it returns an array only if i just tell you 0 to 10 so it returns an array for between 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so what basically var name does it it iterate over this array element wise okay so we we this we just use this function this we just uh, you take help of this range function to iterate in this manner you all got it so this this for in loop is for iterating over a list only and then we we use range to create a list that we can iterate over and now if we will just take a step size of two then you will have a loop zero two four six eight 
got it got it sir yes yes or no please kisko nahi samajh mein aata likh do na main bhi confused hua tha pehle for each loop pe isko theek hai theek hai padhiya all right we will go on so for each loop is kana okay sab so for each loop samajh mein aata ha theek hai and then enumerate बर्ड Have this my LST and sometimes now. Okay, if I just loop over this LST for you, for I and LST. And okay. what will happen, guys? It will loop over each of this. So I will have first dog, then I will go. I will have cat, then bird, then pigeon, then lion, and it will print like this only. dog cat pigeon lion and sometimes what happens na we want the indexes to be also there for example we want the array element and then we want the indexes to be also there so for this there are two types of way you can we can use so first is that we we use our for loop we use our for loop for example if i want for i in range i want i to be starting from 0 and then i want it to end at len of lst the size of the lst and then i want to do i plus plus and then I will just print i, comma, lst of i. Okay, uh, this this uh, this piece of code I am writing. If I want to print the indexes at which uh, at which indexes as well as the element in the list. So if I just run this piece of code, what will happen is you got that in index zero you have dog, in index one you have cat, in index two you have bot, in index three you have pigeon, and at index four you have lion. Did you all get what I just did? सर वहां एलएस सर आप प्रीवियस पेज स्क्रॉल कीजिए ना हां बस ठीक है हां सर यहां पे आपने बताया था कि एलियन एल और लिस्ट जो है मतलब वो हम लोग लेंथ के लिए यूज करते हैं लेंथ डिटरमाइन हाँ, करने के लिए हां हां तो फिर आप जब प्रिंट आई और एलएसटी आई कर रहे हैं तो फिर वो लेंथ क्यों नहीं डिटरमाइन हो रहा है आउटपुट में हां नहीं ये ये देखो सुन 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 मैंने क्या कहा जीरो से स्टार्ट करना है रिमूव द एलएस लिस्ट आई देन वी गेट हम्म आह विकेट आह एलएसटी है आई टोल्ड हूँ ना एलएसटी जीरो एट द एंड आई एम सॉग सर ओके ठीक है ठीक है तू जो बोल रहा था हाँ हाँ ठीक है हाँ ये देख हाँ लेन एलएसटी की वैल्यू क्या आएगी ना आते लेन एलएसटी क्या बेसिकली दिखाता है कि इस एलएसटी में कितने कितने वो है कितने एलिमेंट्स है इस एलएसटी का लेंथ क्या लेन जो भी फंक्शन है लेन लेन देख ले लेंथ ना अब ये क्या बोल रहा है कि जीरो से स्टार्ट करो लेन ऑफ एलएसटी तक जाओ तो जीरो से स्टार्ट करो पांच तक जाओ ठीक है तो आई में पहले जीरो होगा फिर वन होगा फिर टू होगा फिर थ्री होगा फिर फोर होगा और अच्छा लेकिन एक बार भी प्रिंट ही कर देता हूँ जीरो से लेकर ठीक है अब तू मेरे को बताएगा कैसे कैसे चलेगा ना ये लेन ऑफ पहले सबसे पहले क्या ऑपरेट होगा सबसे पहले जो सबसे अंदर वो होगा तो पहले लेन ऑफ एल को ये सॉल्व करेगा लेन ऑफ एल एस की वैल्यू फाइव है तो लेन ऑफ एल एस को ये फाइव से फाइव से रिप्लेस कर देगा उसके बाद ये रेंज करेगा जीरो टू फाइव तक तो ये जो प्रिंट होनी चाहिए वो क्या प्रिंट होनी चाहिए सर सबसे पहले वो डॉग जीरो पे डॉग फिर वन पे कैट फिर टू पे बर्ड नहीं नहीं मैं तो मैं तो उसको कर ही नहीं रहा हूँ ना मैं तो इसको सॉल्व करने को तो वो बोलो लिस्ट रेंज जीरो लेन एलएसटी जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव हाँ नहीं फाइव नहीं आएगा ना हाँ लास्ट वन टू थ्री फोर आएगा हाँ तो ये ठीक है ये जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर आएगा ठीक है यस सही है सही समझ गया हाँ ये जो रेंज है वो तेरा वो ऑपरेट होगा सॉल्व होके कहाँ आएगा जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर आएगा ओके फिर i को जब तू फिर i को जब तू इटरेट करेगा तो सबसे पहले i जो वैल्यू लेगा वो जीरो लेगा ओके ओके समझ गया समझ गया फिर वन लेगा ठीक है समझ गया अच्छा ठीक है अब मतलब हमें इंडेक्स बाद में प्रिंट करनी हो और 
ये इस तरीके से कर सकते हैं मतलब मतलब जो पहले प्रिंटेड होगा वो मतलब बाद में अरे अरे मैं तो, मैं तो ये बता दे ये एक वेरिएबल है बता दे ये एक वेरिएबल है बता दे कि आई एक वेरिएबल है तो इसको अच्छे से लिख देता दिस इज एट डॉग इज एट इंडेक्स जीरो कैट इज एट इंडेक्स वन बॉड इज एट इंडेक्स टू पिजन इज एट इंडेक्स थ्री इंडेक्स अब आए तो तुम्हारा एक वेरिएबल है ना तुम उसके साथ जो चाहे वो कर सकते हो समझ गया हाँ सर समझ गया ठीक है अच्छा लेट्स प्ले गेम अगेन ना ठीक है ए इक्वल टू इक्वल टू वन टू व्हाट विल बी द वैल्यू ऑफ ए चैट में लिख देना ए का वैल्यू क्या होगा अगर मैं इसको सॉल्व करा तो लिख दो ए का वैल्यू क्या होगा ये है ना ए इक्वल टू वन कॉमर टू ए की वैल्यू क्या होगी ए इक्वल टू एक लिस्ट है वन कॉमर टू ए की वैल्यू क्या आएगी थ्री कैसे आ जाएगी भाई थ्री था ये वन क्यों लिख रहा था हम लोग ए एक वेरिएबल है ए एक वेरिएबल है और कोड दोबारा दिखा दो हाँ ये तो एक सिंपल चीज है ना मैं एक लिस्ट डिक्लेयर किया और उसको ए पे ए वेरिएबल में स्टोर कर दिया तो ए की जो वैल्यू आएगी वो वन टू आएगी सर ये तो असाइनमेंट ही हुआ ना बस हाँ तो वही तो ए की वैल्यू वन टू आएगी मैं कहा बोल रहा था मैं तो तुमसे सीधे पूछा कि ए इक्वल टू फोर ए की वैल्यू क्या होगी अब तुम उसमें खेल छेड़छाड़ कर रहे हो तो मैं क्यों कर रहा हूँ चलो ए की वैल्यू क्या हो गई कंफ्यूजन हो गया तो प्रिंट तो अब बताओ ए की वैल्यू क्या होगी बी की वैल्यू क्या होगी नहीं ऐसे ऐसे मत बताना ए इक्वल टू उसके बाद ए की वैल्यू फिर बी इक्वल टू फिर बी की वैल्यू लिखना A is one and two and B is none. A be one or two or B be one or two. A one comma two, B be one comma two. ठीक है नहीं तो इसमें क्या होता है? Python ये क्या करता है कि ये तुम इस तरीके से कर सकते हो कि ये एक का जैसे list का वो जवाब में जवाब स्क्रिप्ट है मैं expect करता हूँ लोग जवाब स्क्रिप्ट पढ़ेंगे ठीक है चलो तो ये ये होता है एक तरीके का assignment होता है मतलब तो अगर ये same है तो ये A का जो पहला value है इसको assign कर देता हूँ और B करो ना ये हो जाएगा कि ए की वैल्यू जो तुम्हारी वन आ गई और बी की वैल्यू जो है तुम्हारी टू आ गई ठीक है समझ गए ठीक है चलो आप इसको कंटिन्यू कर दो थोड़ा ना क्या कर सकते हैं इसमें और ए वन बी टू ठीक है हाँ ठीक है तो ये समझ पाएगा ना ये ये अच्छी चीज है इसको याद रखना मतलब आ, अगर तुम्हारे दो है तो उनको इस तरीके से कर सकते हो और जो ए ए और बी दोनों को वन टू कर रहे थे ना अगर तुमको उस तरीके से करना तुम इसको इस तरीके से करो ए इक्वल टू बी इक्वल टू वन टू तो अब अगर तुम ए और बी को प्रिंट करोगे तुम्हारा वो ऐसा आएगा वन ऑटो वन ऑटो आएगा ठीक है अच्छा चलो ना तो ये समझ में आ गया ना कि ये अगर ए कॉमा में रखता हूँ तो कैसे होता है अगर मैं ए कॉमा रख दिया तो ये जो इधर वाली वैल्यू इसमें चले गए और इधर वाली जो वैल्यू इसमें चले गए ना ठीक है अब इसको कर दो व्हाट हैपन इफ माय लिस्ट हैव थ्री एलिमेंट्स यस लाइक दिस एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली ठीक है ठीक है छे ले लेते ओके एनी गेसेस व्हाट विल बी द वैल्यू नाउ अच्छा छोड़ो अभी अभी ना लेट्स गो लेट्स गो लिटिल बिट बैक लेट्स से आई हैव थ्री वैल्यूज एंड आई आई डोंट वांट टू टेक द सेकंड वैल्यू आई जस्ट वांट टू टेक द फर्स्ट एंड थर्ड वैल्यू व्हाट विल यू डू Obviously, you don't know that. Uh, uh, let's try giving one more comma, right? Let's see if it works. It won't work. So Python has a variable that is like a throwaway variable that underscore. 
underscore is used if you if I if you don't want the value of any variable. All right. If like if we don't want to store the value of any any variable, but we need it, uh, there we will use underscore. So underscore is like a throwaway variable. Means basically you don't have use for any you don't have use for this variable, so you don't give it any name. You just uh, put it in underscore. All right. So if I want to get one and three, I can just use underscore here, and then I will get one, two, and three. One and uh, two will be skipped here because two will be given to underscore, and then A will have one and B will have three. Right, clear with this. Uh, now let's move on to next question. One, two, three, four, five. ठीक है चलो ये और इसमें मैं तेरे को तो तुमको को ऑप्शन ही देता हूँ ना ठीक है चलो ऑप्शन देता हूँ ये देखो ये एक और तरीका होता है कमेंट करने का अगर तुम्हें मल्टी लाइन कमेंट चाहिए तो तुम ट्रिपल स्ट्रिंग का यूज कर सकते हो तो आई विल गिव यू एन ऑप्शन ऑप्शन ए इज दैट ए विल बी इक्वल टू वन एंड बी विल बी इक्वल टू टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स ठीक है ऑप्शन बी इज That a will be equal to one, and b will be equal to two, and or क्या हो सकता है? चल कुछ नहीं error आ जाएगा. A, b और c. चल देख लो a, b और c बताना. Chat में लिख देना. C, 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 b. बी भाई एक किस कोई नहीं कर रहा अच्छा ए भी आया एरर एरर ठीक है चल कोई ठीक है अच्छा लगा मैक्स मैक्स पीपल सेड दैट दिस विल बी एरर ऑब्वियसली दिस विल बी एरर दिस इज एन एरर दिस इज एन एरर नाउ इफ आई वांट टू पुट इट लाइक दिस इफ आई लाइक इफ आई वांट टू डू दिस इफ आई वांट टू इफ आई वांट टू डू इट लाइक दिस ना दैट माय ए शुड कंटेन वन And B should contain two, three, four, five, six. What I can do is, I can just uh, start before B. I can just put asterisk here. Excuse me, sir. Uh. Sir, जैसे previous वाले में A B is equal to दोनों का ही value one two हो गया था, तो इस वाले में भी ऐसा क्यों नहीं हुआ? Error क्यों हो गया? हाँ, क्योंकि वो equal नहीं है ना? इसकी size और इसकी size equal नहीं है. अच्छा, वो पहले ही आपने declare की थी क्या? हाँ. मतलब मैं समझा नहीं अरे वो इक्वल नहीं थी ना इनके साइज तुम छह वैल्यू को दो वेरिएबल में कैसे रख सकते हो अच्छा तो फिर अगर स्ट्रिंग भी यूज करे तब भी नहीं होगा लिस्ट के अंदर नहीं नहीं कुछ नहीं होगा लिस्ट तो लिस्ट होता तो स्ट्रिंग से कुछ भी यूज कर लिस्ट तो बस एलिमेंट्स को रखता है ना स्टोरेज करने का तरीका तुम चाहे उसमें नंबर रखो चाहे इफ यू पुट नंबर और इफ यू पुट स्ट्रिंग स्ट्रिंग व्हाट्स द डिफरेंस बिटवीन ठीक है ओके आई विल कंटिन्यू इट सो इफ यू जस्ट पुट अन एस्टेक्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ बी ना एक्सक्यूज मी सर एक और पूछना था कि अगर ए बी इज इक्वल टू सिर्फ 1 रहे तो उसमें भी एरर आएगा ना क्योंकि ना ऑब्वियसली ओके ओके समझ गया मैं ठीक है अब इफ आई जस्ट पुट ए एस्टेक्स बी व्हाट दिस बेसिकली मींस इज दैट पुट ऑल द लेफ्ट वैल्यू इन बी सो इफ आई डू दिस यू विल गेट 1 2 3 4 5 6 नाउ सिमिलरली इफ आई जस्ट डू एस्टेक्स And B, then you will have A will have one, two, three, four, five, and B will have six. Okay, now, uh, take it. Yeah, is my pointers used? होते हैं क्या? नहीं नहीं वो pointers नहीं है उसको pointers से mistake मत करना. वो बस एक variable declare करने का तरीका है. बता इसमें क्या आएगा? A की value बता ना, C की value बता. ये error देगा कि नहीं? पहले ये बता. ये error देगा कि नहीं? Hmm. नहीं ठीक नहीं ये एरर नहीं देगा ठीक तो ये बेसिकली क्या करेगा ठीक है सी को भी प्रिंट कर देते ए को जो है वन को ए को दे देगा सी को सिक्स को दे देगा और बाकी के जो बचे हुए उनको बी को दे देगा ठीक है हाँ और अगर लेट्स से इफ आई वांट हाँ सो दिस इज दिस इज वेयर यू गेट अ वेरी गुड क्यूज केस कि इफ आई वॉन्ट इफ आई जस्ट वॉन्ट द फर्स्ट एंड लास्ट एलिमेंट ऑफ एन एर वॉट आई कैन डू इज आई कैन जस्ट Let's say I will just assign it all to this underscore. Means I will throw away all the variable in between. Uh, I will throw away two, three, four, and five. I will store one in A. I will store one in A, and I will store six in C. Okay, got it. So I think this is clear. Okay. Uh, now uh, going on to enumerate. Okay. So uh, this this was like one of the things that we discussed. 
ये भी काम कर दो नहीं कोलैप खोलने में दिक्कत हो रहा है तो लाइक अभी बता दो क्लियर हो जाएगा पाइथन 3 कर लोगे और उसके बाद फिर का टाइम विंडोज में टर्मिनल खोल दो या फिर सीएमडी या पावर शेल ठीक है देख लो टू स्टार्ट एक्सप्रेशन इन असाइनमेंट सिंटैक्स एरर यू कांट यूज टू स्टार्ट एआर टू स्टार्ट एक्सप्रेशन इन असाइनमेंट मैं बोल रहा था ना इसमें एरर मैसेजेस काफी क्लियर होते हैं तो सिंटैक्स एरर यू कांट यूज टू स्टार्ट एक्सप्रेशन इन असाइनमेंट ठीक कंटिन्यू करते हैं यार बहुत टाइम हो गया सर आई हैव डाउट 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 क्या बोल यू प्रिंटेड वन स्टेटमेंट नो सर फॉर फॉर लूप प्रिंटिंग आई एंड लिस्ट हम्म हियर वी दिस वन ना हां एक मिनट दिस वन राइट हां यस सर हां Uh, you want me to explain this? But it was not running to me. Oh no, sir, no, sir, no problem. I it will run. Uh, okay. And this is a good habit. Like if you have something, you can just try here only. Okay. Uh, now, so I just uh, why did why did I explain you all this first? Because uh, this thing, na, this is not the Python way of doing. Uh, you don't just uh, like give i and then range and all these things. If you want. to get indexes as well as as well as the element in the list what you will use is you will use enumerate all right now uh, so let's just uh, you have any uh, i wrote all the animal names right yep okay okay so i have this animal names now next what i will do is i will for i comma and so this is the python way of doing it you don't need to do assignment and all what basically enumerate does it enumerate returns a uh, uh, you can just enumerate returns a tuple tuple or you can uh, you can say that it returns a 2d array okay let's just see what enumerate returns so you will be clear oh god i want to enumerate returns it returns you a 2d array it returns you a 2d array of index plus the element index plus the element index plus the element so when you loop over it on first iteration what do you have on first iteration iteration you will have this thing so uh, if you will have this thing what what is it uh, you assign 0 to i and you assign do, animal to dog all right then similarly you go forward you assign 1 to i and then you assign animal to cat you go you assign 2 to i and then you assign animal to bird did you all understand it Yes, good, 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 good. Tick, tick. Are you all understood? Enumerate. Okay. Okay. We will just try to complete it. Ah, just comprehension. Tick. Okay. Here we go. Let the guys. Tick. Okay. One more thing. Python provides us. Ah, uh, you can create a new list like that. For example, if I want to num equal to i square. Or I I uh, uh, no this thing na this thing you all are gonna understand by yourself only I'm telling you what this basically does list comprehension so uh, okay. 
Mm-hmm. Just point I can point zero seven. And then to do. So these two statements are basically similar only. First, what you what you did here was you created a list, and then you look through it, and then in uh, in this new list, what you did was you appended, you just appended uh, this i square. So you go from zero to nine, and you then appended zero square zero square, and then you printed new list. Now this word here it does is it it does the same thing. It does the same thing in uh, as above, just the way of writing is different. So you can just think of it as like it just went through the it it just went through the list. So for i in the range of zero to two, and then it uh, then it started stacking this i square i square i square i square here in this list. Did you all get it? This is called list comprehension. Did you all get this? Yes. No, anyone. Good, 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 good. Okay, now next. Ah, uh, uh, you can also put conditions. Ah, uh, I did not teach you about conditional now. Does it have conditions? Tuples, function, classes. Oh, wow. Okay. Ah, uh, writing condition in C plus plus in Python is uh, basically sim uh, simple only. If uh, Python have uh, Python everything in Python is like uh, you will just have to deal with indentation. So if condition you have any condition, if this condition is true, then if that condition is true, then execute this, execute this piece of code. Execute this, and if that condition is false, means else. Execute this, this, and you also have elif. कंडीशन समझ में आ गया इफ एल्स का सिंटेक्स ये होता है ये होता है पाइथन में जैसे तुम उसमें सी प्लस प्लस लिखते हो तो इफ कंडीशन देन एल्स इफ कंडीशन देन एल्स इस तरीके से पाइथन में होता है इफ कंडीशन देन एग्जीक्यूट दिस प्रॉक ऑफ कोड Elif second condition execute this where elif where last else understood understood this guys. Take I just want to know I just want to do for for the next class. Sir, last class नहीं आया condition. ये आप इसमें समझाना क्या चाह रहे थे नहीं समझ. अरे condition कुछ बता जैसे तुम Python में condition लिखते हो ना even के लिए लिख दिए i percentile two equal to zero कोई भी condition जो true या false हो. Okay okay. कंडीशन हाँ, मतलब वो कोई है मतलब बस मैं कंडीशन लिख रहा हूं मैं सिंटैक्स समझा रहा था एफएल्स का ठीक है जल्दी क्लास को रैप अप करते हैं गाइस और so, मैं नेक्स्ट क्लास एक बता सकते हैं कि ब्रेप पे जब मैं ये collab.research.google डालता हूं तो उसके बाद जो साइट ओपन होती है उसके बाद क्या करना है मतलब ये सब टाइप करने के लिए या प्रैक्टिस करने के लिए तो फिर से बता दीजिए कोलैब हां कोलैब तो गूगल पे है कोलैब ओके अच्छा जैसे चोट की आईडी से खोलेंगे तो ज्यादा फायदा होगा या नॉर्मल आईडी नहीं नहीं किसी किसी से वो गूगल आईडी से करना इसका न्यू नोटबुक पर क्लिक करेगा तो ठीक है न्यू नोटबुक पर क्लिक करना फिर एक नया नोटबुक खुल जाएगा ए कोलैब इज यूज्ड ओनली फॉर पाइथन हां कोलैब इज फॉर पाइथन ओनली एक बार आप ब्रीफ कर देंगे आज कौन से कौन से टॉपिक्स कर रहे हैं हां मैं ये मैं तुम्हारे साथ नोटबुक शेयर कर दूंगा ना ओके सर क्या खत्म करें क्या अभी सर बार बार सेव करना पड़ेगा यस सर बार बार सेव करना पड़ेगा इसे मतलब जो भी टाइप करेंगे नहीं खुद खुद सेव होता है देख ऑल ऑल चेंजेस सेव टू लिखा है ना या पढ़ लेना इससे यार गाइस देख अब तुम्हारे पास दो तीन और है एक डिक्शनरीज बता एक सेट एक तपल बचा अरे ये पढ़ लेते हैं यार उसके बाद नेक्स्ट क्लास में फंक्शन और फंक्शन स्टार्ट करेंगे फंक्शन और फिर नंपाई करेंगे मैं यहाँ से सर पाइथन में इफ uh, के अंदर इफ यूज हो सकता है अगर हम एलिफ यूज नहीं करना चाहें तो इफ के अंदर हां इफ के अंदर इफ यूज हो ही सकता है बस आप बस इंडेंटेशन का ध्यान रखना इफ कंडीशन 
उसको इंडेंटेशन बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है पैटर्न में लाइक उसमें एरर करोगे तो फिर फिर तुम्हारे पास इफ फिर कंडीशन टू फिर यहां पे अपना कुछ उसके लिए लिखना तो सेकंड कंडीशन के लिए तुम जो चाहते हो अरे तुम आ, तुम ना इसको वो उस उस तरह के समझते रहना इंडेंट इंडेंटेशन को ना कर्ली ब्रेसेस की तरह समझते रहना अगर तुमको कोई भी चीज चाहिए कि इस इफ वाले इफ लूप वाले में रन करे तो तुम उसको इसके इंडेंटेशन के अंदर लिखोगे अगर तुमको चाहिए कोई चीज इस वाले इफ लूप के अंदर रन करे तो तुम इसको इस वाले कंडीशन के अंदर लिखोगे सो वो इंडेंटेशन वही तो होता है स्पेसिंग हां भाई बिल्कुल प्रॉपर स्पेसिंग ठीक है आ, रुको हां थोड़ा टाइम अगर और दे दो ना गाइस मैं ये डिक्शनरी यार स्टॉप नहीं नहीं बस हो गया हो गया और डिक्शनरी ऐसा ठीक है ये पढ़ लेना तुम लोग कल आ जाओगे ना सारे लोग आ जाएंगे सर एक बार पूरा खुद से देख लोगे तो कल भी बहुत जल्दी हो जाएगा हां ठीक और समझ लेना और मैं मतलब मैं तुम्हारे मैं तुमको अनम्यूट करने इसलिए दिया क्योंकि तुम मतलब तुम पढ़ भी सकते हो उनसे अगर तुम ऑनलाइन लेक्चर देखोगे तब पर भी वही हाल रहेगा बट यहां पे तुम अपने डाउट्स को पूछ सकते हो और मैं तुमको वो चीजें बता रहा हूं मतलब जो थोड़े इंपॉर्टेंट होते हैं मतलब जो यूज होते हैं वो मैं तुमको बता रहा हूं ठीक है जो मतलब जो मैं काफी यूज करता हूं जैसे स्प्लिट हो गया अभी स्प्लिट और वो बता दूंगा कल मेरे को याद दिलाना स्प्लिट और ज्वाइन बताने का और ठीक है देख लेना अगर मतलब टाइम मिले तुम लोगों को तो फ्री कोड कैंप का वीडियो लेक्चर देख लेना उसमें पाइथन समझा ही देता है काफी कुछ तो समझ ही जाओगे उसके बाद डाउट वोट होगा तो डिस्कॉर्ड पे पूछ लेना नहीं डिस्कॉर्ड व्हाट्सएप कर देना मेरे का डिस्कॉर्ड में भी एक थिंग अभी भी किसी को डाउट हो तो पर्सनली डिस्कॉर्ड पे आ सकता है गीक हेवन के चैनल पे आ जाओ कोई ना कोई बता देगा जुपिटर नोटबुक एंड कोलैब आर सेम इज जुपिटर नोटबुक एंड कोलैब आर सेम इन कोलैब यू यूज गूगल्स बैकएंड व्हाइल इन जुपिटर नोटबुक यू विल हैव टू यूज योर ओन कंप्यूटर्स कंप्यूटेशन पावर नहीं भाई अटेंडेंस का क्या करेंगे लेके फॉर्मल क्लास चल रहा है पैसे थोड़ी दे रहा हूं मैं चलो ठीक है फिर गाइस अच्छा लगा तुम्हें काफी लोग आए गूगल कोलैब जैसा पाइथन के लिए इस्तेमाल करते हैं ये बाकी चीज अवेलेबल है नहीं नहीं वेबडी के लिए बाकी पाइथन का ये एडवांटेज है वेबडी 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 के लिए तेरे अरे वेबडी के लिए वीएस कोड यूज कर लेना या वेबडी के लिए देखो कोड पेन भी होता है वो तो सिर्फ वीएस कोड ही इस्तेमाल करता हूं बट फिर भी वेबडी के लिए देखो कोड पेन होता है ये यूज कर सकते हो पाइथन टर्मिनल में यूज करना कोई एडवांटेज रहता है क्या आ, अगर तुम्हें जल्दी जल्दी रन करना है तो पाइथन तुम टर्मिनल में यूज कर सकते हो वरना क्या टर्मिनल क्या है टर्मिनल एक तरीके से वही है ना मैं पूरा पाइथन का कोड टर्मिनल में लिखूं क्या ही फर्क पड़ता है सॉरी क्विट होता है ना हम एक मैं भूल गया कि हां ठीक है अगर मेरे को कुछ भी लिखना है मैं एक नया फाइल बना के लिख ही देता हूं क्या ही फाइल मतलब टर्मिनल कुछ होता थोड़ी नैनो में कोई करो से कोई एक फाइल बना दिया ना आ, चल हाई डॉट फाइल कर दे और ये मेरा हो गया और मैं इसमें बस कुछ नहीं कर रहा और आई इन रेंज ठीक है थोड़ा स्मार्ट बनते हैं ना तो वेरिएबल यूज करते हो कि आई का मेरे कुछ काम नहीं रेंज जीरो से लेके टेन तक ओके okay, अब बस तुम्हें रन करना है पाइथन थ्री फाइव कर दो दो हो गया तुम्हारा स्क्रिप्ट रन कर सकते हो टर्मिनल से पाइथन थ्री करके उसके बाद जो भी तुम्हारा वो पाई का नाम रहेगा उस फाइल नेम को दे दोगे तो वो जो फाइल नेम है वो पाइथन से हो जाएगा रन हो जाएगा अरे जिसको इसको लीव करना है वो लीव कर दो जिनको डाउट पूछना है यहां रुक सकते हो थोड़े टाइम के लिए ठीक है मैं कुछ नया नहीं बना रहा रिलेटेड या और कोई जनरल वर्ड्स ना तो भी रुक सकता हूं हां कुछ कुछ भी अगर कुछ भी बात 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 भी करना है फिर भी रुक जाओ लिनक्स का कौन सा डिस्ट्रो आपका मैं मैं उबंटू यूज करता हूं सर एक पूछना था कि जैसे प्रोग्राम्स क्रिएट करते जाते हैं तो जैसे सी ड्राइव में ही सबसे